evening, everybody. It's, uh... It's been something of a long day. Um, not like... Nothing really happened, it just kind of went by extremely slowly. Um... Sleep's been in short supply these days. Um... So has most other forms of rest. Uh... Whether they be, uh, physical or spiritual. But, um... You know, I'm out here doing my best. And, uh... Always glad, always glad to be doing, doing my Stalker Tuesdays and always glad to be seeing new people roll up and hopefully having a great time here tonight. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna be an interesting one because we're gonna be starting right the fuck off with Agriprom Underground. So it's gonna be spooky right off the bat and, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, things go smoothly. I just had, uh, some pizza, uh, and I am... Fucking raring to go after warming up with some fucking, um, uh, I was playing some Modern Warfare 2. We, me and Patch have been playing it more commonly. Uh, like last night and yesterday, we just, and today, we've just been playing tons of the fucking multiplayer. Uh, no shortage of toxicity, obviously. Um, but without voice chat, it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit more bearable. Uh, noob tubes and RPGs still in, in very, 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 very high supply. So, I suppose it's nothing that it can't be expected, but it is fun to be going back through Modern Warfare 2, and I think I'll give 2019 a try again, just to enjoy it while I can until its player base eventually is completely eradicated by the release of the new Modern Warfare 2 coming to the end of this year, I presume. Unless it comes next year and I get to enjoy it for a little bit longer. Speaking of enjoying things a little bit longer, um, I think we've been in the intro screen for quite a while. Let me bring us over to the actual game, or rather, the bar. I'm in a little bit of a habit of dragging out the intro for a bit longer, mostly just because I like to kind of let let things breathe a little bit better. Um, maybe at some point I'll work on pulling together a song that can replace that intro. Because um, I, I do love Tucker Theodore's music. I either have to get in contact with him or Antiquated Future again, about possibly using more of his music, or I could just find somebody else's music to use. Maybe I can get a... Ooh, I could get a hand of, like, uh... Maybe I could get a hold of some Russian acts. Maybe Utro or Ploho. Um, definitely not Molcha Doma, they're too big. Uh, Ploho or Utro would be pretty good. Maybe even... I could get Human Tetris. Maybe... Maybe I can get Human Tetris on the line. That would be interesting. But, uh, yeah, so, as always, we're gonna be getting right into the game. Uh, Stalker Anomaly, continuing with my current story mode quest of finding Strelik Stash down below in the Agriprom Underground. I did quite a bit of preparation last stream for it. In fact, I left the actual event until this week, because I had spent most of the last stream preparing. Gathering medical supplies, ammunition, what have you. This is going to be rough, but... You know what they say. Rough as Dutch, safe to touch, smooth as bone, leave it alone. That's probably not something a whole lot of people recognize, but I hope they do, because I I love it. Now let's let's bring us over to the game then. Not a whole lot of not a whole lot of pregame to do over here. Let's go. <clears throat> so I, I've started up another uh, solo save. This one is um, a, a mercenary save where I play with things like uh, fast travel. And mini map and shit on just just for the fun of it. <clears throat> I am, however, I'm th I think going to be turning off the mini map because it's not on by default in Anomaly. And the mini map doesn't make things super easy or anything, but it does obstruct some of my view. I just don't like having it on. Truthfully, I wish there were like difficulty presets uh, for that. But I'm glad it's not like Gunslinger, where just if you play on the highest difficulty, your HUD is just gone because fuck you, I guess. So give me a second here. We're going to be turning off that crosshair. We're going to be turning off the mini-map. Uh, let's see here. Fast travel is also turned off for this save. Please tell me the limited bolts should be on. I don't know why they keep turning off, but they do. Eh, that's good enough. And we do have campfire mode turned on. Here I am with my cracked helmet, ragtag MP5, busted Makarov PMM. What else? I've got a, a pretty recently acquired suit 
uh, a pretty recently acquired sunrise suit. Um, I also have a wealth of new sites for my MP5. One of them, in fact, being an EOTech Hollow site. I was actually able to order one off of eBay recently, and it should be coming in on Thursday. So that'll be fun. I'll probably run up on stream and be like, Hey, everybody, look, I got a fucking Hollow site. I also, by the way, love that the... Um, you can't see it too well here, but uh, the in-game model for the Hollow site included the little marking on the side that says for military law enforcement use only. I think that's cool. Because most of them are printed with that. Fuck you, I'm showing off my gun, dude. Give me a, give me a break. All right. Well, uh, unless I can... Uh, how much does it cost to get my shit fixed? Wait a minute, hold up. What are the spots on the map? There's little icons with green houses. Have those always been there? Or have I just never noticed them? Huh. I see. Well, I'm gonna go see how much it's gonna cost to bring my armor and weaponry up to tip top shape to make sure I'm all ready to go. What kind of what kind of ammunition am I working with here? I've got one full magazine. Oh, I've got plenty to work with. Okay. I could I could mag dump three I could fucking dump three magazines into the wall behind a bloodsucker and still be able to go for longer. That's good. I need that. <laughs> Alright. I will say the hollow site looks really fucking wonky on the MP5. I also like that they've included multiple forms of it. This is a, I think, um, this is a 553 or something, and they also have the 55, no, this is the 558, I think. I can't remember. This is like the 552 or something, and then the 558 is also here. Hey, what's up? I want to repair my equipment, please. Yeah, you know what? That's not worth the price, no. Yeah, I'll pay that money to repair my equipment, sure. But definitely not my weapons, because I am not trying to go under 15,000 rubles. Not when I've worked so hard to build myself up here. What what, what difficulty uh, progression are we playing on? I think we're on... Um, I think we're on moderate, like the medium one. Not experienced enough for this fight. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my backup pistol finds itself jamming quite a bit. That could be problematic in time, but if I'm playing correctly, I shouldn't be having to worry about that too much. So I guess we'll just have to see. Fuck you. <clears throat> well, it's off to Agriprom. Of course, I have to cross the garbage for... See, see, getting all these magazines to deal with whatever's at the bottom of Agriprom, that's only part of it. I'm going to be, have to be contending with anything that I might encounter while crossing two entire levels beforehand. The garbage is going to have no shortage of dogs, boars, cats, flesh. If I'm unlucky, I might even see a chimera or a lurker. God forbid. It's 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 a, it's gonna be a rough day out here in the zone. What time even is it? It's two p.m. All right. <clears throat> if I was really serious about this, I probably would have left at an earlier time, but that's not really an option today. So, because I don't really have enough food, or rather, anti rads to deal with my food, to be able to just fucking sleep entire days away like that, I have to be more strategic. Dennis Voronsov. Alright, so somebody in Agriprom has already been killed by a cat. Lovely. Lovely. I can't wait to follow in his footsteps. But yeah, so uh, since the last stream, I've done a little bit of shopping. I decided, I think I already talked about it on the patch stream, but I did decide to go through with ordering a couple of new muzzle attachments for my M4. Uh, those being a uh, Crytac Muscle Break, uh, commissioned or, or rather licensed officially by Barrett, a uh, Compensator, and a proper Birdcage Flash Hider. I also got five 
polymer magazines uh, with a 30 round cap because I don't fuck with that like 300 round thing that all like the regular like I, I have like a bunch of stan eggs uh, that have like a 300 round cap. I don't like the stan eggs. They rattle too much. They feel weird. Uh, I don't like how they scrape against the side of my receiver. So I've got a bunch of polymer ones with a 30 round cap so I can feel like it's a little bit more proper. Um, I've uh, I managed to secure a nice operator red dot for the top of it. Of course, there's the holographic for the top that I also got off eBay. Um, <clears throat> uh, eventually, once I have a little bit more money kicking around, I might buy myself a magnifier for the hollow site, just just for the fun of it, so I can really get on that. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, I also got the um, new chest rig that holds four magazines total. Hey, what's up, fish? How you doing tonight? Welcome on in. Good to see you again, homie. I'm just talking about some new shit that I bought for my IRL airsoft build. Um, but yeah, so I got my hands on a new chest rig that seats four uh, AR magazines. So those will be for the four of my five polymer mags. The fifth will be seated nest like nested gently within the receiver of my AR. Uh, oh, we got our first contender. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Did I really forget to load this before I fucking enter the garbage? Well, oh, I'm dead as fuck. What? Oh, it jammed. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Why do you keep- Okay, that wasn't even a jam. I just ran out of ammo. Okay, I'm loading a safe. Fuck that. This says pretty good. Visited my grandma and dad. Had some beers. Not chilling with beers, too. Very good. Very good. I haven't drank in a while, but uh, I was- I was a big fan of, um, the- Hold up. I, I was pretty decently into the Mike's Hard back in the day. Really liked the black cherry flavor. Hell, I might even get back into it once I'm clear of fucking gastroesophageal reflux disease. We'll see. Um, but yeah, and uh, I ordered the chest rig, a bunch of attachments for my AR. I also ordered a brand new maid outfit. Uh, this is like... This is the real deal, yo. This is like actually made out of cotton. It's not some Halloween costume made from polyester. This is some real shit. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's actually, like, gonna work out. Uh, the only thing is the fucking, there's gonna be a little bit too much space for Booba. So I'm gonna have to either bring it to a tailor, or maybe a seamstress friend and be like, Hey, can you cut back on this a little bit? So this is all in preparation for, uh, possible convention appearances, just cause, like, even, like, not, don't even think of it as me going to conventions as, like, my stream persona. Think of it as me going to conventions as a battle maid, cause I love it. Uh, I also ran into the unfortunate reality of... Because I had to replace the orange tip on my AR with a like a like a black fucking metal uh, birdcage uh, flash hider that I can fucking put my uh, suppressor onto. Um, I have had hold up. I am very worried if my MP5 is starting to jam. I'm very worried if my MP5 is starting to jam. But, um, yeah, so... Fuck me sideways. Yeah, there's too many dogs. Fuck this. I'm, t I'm taking another way. So, yeah, I had to take the, uh, the orange plastic tip off the edge of, uh, like, the orange plastic flash hider off of my AR to replace it with a black metal one that I can put my suppressor onto. It came with the suppressor, by the way. Um... I am now, unfortunately, in the situation of I need to get a fucking black... I need to get an orange tip back on this shit if I want to bring it to a con. Thankfully, thankfully, a gracious uh, website has shown that, um... What is it? Uh, on Evike, I can actually just order, like, orange tips that I can place back onto it. That's good. Uh, the other problem is I did the same with my Glock. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is my other one had, like... I technically have two Airsoft Glocks. One of them, I botched removing the orange tip so badly that I had to, like, just get another one. I think I'll, I'll bring the botched one, and I will just fucking spray paint the tip orange. Or just wrap it in, like, orange tape or some shit. Because I don't want to, like, I don't want to, or, or if I, if need be, I'll just, like, fucking replace the interior, like, the internal barrel. Maybe we'll see about, like, buying another replacement barrel or something, we'll see. Because I already know how to assemble and disassemble the Glock 17 Gen 4, even in an airsoft version. And it could probably just replace the outer barrel with one that comes with an orange tip on it. 
We'll see. Apparently, Ohio law, which is where the convention I'm looking to go to, Ohio law states you actually don't really, like, have to worry about that as long as you're not, like, brandishing it in public. Um, and I'm not really sure if a convention space where you're expected to be, like, where people are going to be carrying prop weapons around like that is going to be a problem. But in a convention space, I'd imagine having an orange tip on it will probably still be for the betterment of everybody. Hell, I'll put the fucking safety tape on that shit if I gotta. Because I want to show everybody my build. I'm also thinking about maybe getting myself an M-Lock handguard replacement. Because the RIS rails are cool. I like, I like those RIS rails. But I'm thinking maybe I can bring this rifle to the 22nd century. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, maybe kind of update it a little bit. Because listen, not, nothing wrong with the Daniel Defense Mark 18. It's a pretty, it's a perfectly serviceable platform. But I'm thinking maybe I can just, maybe I can just upgrade a little bit. Chris says I had a really nice Airsoft M14 and M24. We got us a DMR user here. and Very, very good. I wanted to ask, by the way, because I've never used an Airsoft sniper weapon. How do they, how do they, what, what, um, how do they compare to things like pistols and ARs and all that? Um, because more more unconventional things, right? Like a pistol, I understand. You load the magazine, you put your CO2 tank into the magazine, you put it in the fucking airsoft gun, and you shoot the thing and you're good. With a rifle, it's a little bit different because you have to have like a you know like an automatic system and everything. Um, it usually is battery powered, and even then, you either have a mechanical uh, recoil system or a gas powered system. Uh, but and but even then, it's like regular like small like small arms calibers and shit but like i wanted to ask like what what makes like a, an airsoft sniper rifle more viable like does it fire with the same fps as a regular like airsoft rifle or like so like does it actually have like the kind of range you would expect a longer like a, a longer weapon like a sniper rifle or dmr to have even in airsoft form or is it the same level of fps and it's just like for like roleplay sake Because to be honest, as much as I've been eyeing an AK, um, because I kind of wanted to get my hands on a proper AK, um, proper AK attachments uh, in good, in good, you know, servicing serviceable condition are a little bit few and far between. I am I'm having a lot of trouble finding a proper OKP7 Red Dot. Uh, a Viper, I can also like I can find a Cobra just fine, but those are a little bit pricey. A little bit pricey. Same with the Viper sight. Not to mention, you know, like, I would have to outfit the furniture with proper rails and everything, even if it's a polymer AK. Uh, Fish is really nice experience. Different system. With a scope, it's amazing. Okay. But tell me about, like, tell me about, like, the actual, like, like, the actual pellet velocity. Is it, like, a genuinely higher FPS than you would expect from, say, uh, an SMG or a pistol or a rifle? Because, like, uh, the, the next, like, if I... What I'm doing first is I'm making sure that my, my AR is completely kitted out to fuck. But after that, my next move is an M870. I want to get a fucking 870. And I have no idea how those work. Because I've seen people having, like, uh, like cased ammunition for airsoft weapons. Like, I've seen people actually firing an airsoft pistol with the pellets, and the pellets just come out of a fucking casing. Just for, like, extreme extreme roleplay realism and i find that to be insanely cool pairing that with like a fucking tracer flash hider must be like all right maybe this is a little bit unnecessary but it's cool as fuck to think about um but i'm like how, how do like airsoft shotguns work like do the shotguns just have like the plastic pellets in them and sh like the, the 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 shells i have no clue it's 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 an entire new world. M14 was 400 FPS and M24 was 560. Okay, my current um DDM4 is about 400, I think. Um or at least that's the amount that it can reach with the uh type of lipo battery that I was instructed or rather advised to purchase for it by somebody on the Evite forums. Not gonna lie, I am kind of glad that, um... This is cool, actually. I like that, um... I do like that the campfire save system is ignored when you're in underground areas, even though some of them do have campfires. Did I manage to get my hands on a proper headlamp? Thank you, yes I did. Knew it. 
Oh, fuck me. I am not faring well right off the bat. Oh, I hear you down there. Fuck me. All right, all right. I gotta pay more attention. I'm, I'm too busy talking about my airsoft. But yeah, I was gonna say, I'm happy that I went with an electric recoil. As much as I love gas, because my Glock is gas, and it's great, um, the M4 does just fine with, um, with the, uh, you know, the fucking... Sniper rifles are really hard, because you have to make a correct shot with the wind issue at the long range. Oh, I'd imagine with such lighter, um, with, with such lighter projectiles, it must be a lot harder to actually make an accurate shot at range. Oh, I hear these cunts sneezing. I hit one of them. I know for a fact I did. Eat this. Alright, I gotta expose myself for a sec. Wait, I shouldn't have said that. That sounds wrong. Drop. Who's... I, I couldn't even see that motherfucker. Whoa, 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 you you really pushing me, huh? I'm not, yep, I'm not gonna survive that. Cheeky breaky. Yeah, yeah, I fucking hate the bandits. This is why I'm glad I brought a proper sunrise suit. Imagine me trying this shit in my torn up leather jacket that I started my save with. Fuck that. This is hell. Okay. I'm thinking we, we fucking, we skip the pleasantries and we go straight to the action. See you in hell. The glorious sound of Gopniks dropping dead under the tunnels. We may be underground, but you're going even deeper underground, motherfucker. Where you at now? Agriprom unders are kind of hard and anomaly. Oh, believe me, I know. I got all the way- all the, I, I, I completed the entire Living Legend storyline as duty in a solo save once. Fuck. Alright, that's the first magazine out. Ha! Wait, no. Why'd I do that? I don't- I, I hate the save scum, but it's gotta be done. Toxic. Do I not have an operator site? You know what's weird to me? The fact that I find the EOTech sites to be extremely clunky Next few next room should be with a few bloodsuckers. Oh, I remember. In fact, uh, if you want to look at my Twitter where I posted the little um because I like to make little thumbnails for my streams. Uh, the thumbnail for today's stream, I actually went down to the Agriprom underground and got the fucking screenshots myself with a brand new save as a military stalker, no less. And it was fucking crud with dudes. The RPG that I brought with me was not enough. So I can't wait to contend with that in a couple of minutes. But, uh, as I was saying, I, it's weird that I find the EOTech sites to be exceedingly clunky and not- not really super aesthetically pleasing, but for some reason, just because of the context under which they are used by, like, special forces and shit, I find them to be a pretty cool thing just because of, like, I don't know, just because it's- it's like a brand recognition thing. Although I am glad that I managed to, you know, secure a resold one rather than one sold by, like, the actual company, because of, uh... Some some practices and morality held by this company. I will say no more. And here comes the usual, uh, what's the word? Ritual of deconstructing every single thing I pick up off these bozos. Why did my let go out? Okay. Oh, I turned it. I turned it off myself. Huh. Is that an SKS? Ooh, I like that. I like the sound of that. I like that MP7 too. I might keep her. 
That guitar might have to go, though. I don't think I can keep a hold of that for very long. And I could not give a fuck less about a TT3 Tokarev, sorry. I just don't find a 7.62 handgun. You should have a shotgun? Oh, I know I should, but I don't. I simply didn't have the resources to fix- Ooh. What the fuck is that sight on this thing, bruh? What is taking up so much space in my inventory? Oh, I don't want to have to disassemble that guitar, but I might have to. There was never a man like my Johnny. Like the one they call OBJ underscore guitar. Oh, but I like this AK. We'd like to take a moment to announce that- Oh, it's just- Ew! Ew! It's a fucking Susat scope! Oh, look at this shit. Oh, it's gross. It's disgusting. I hate it. Oh, oh! Oh, but I can I can use the irons. I forgot about that. Okay, you might be a little bit useful. I don't know how I feel about using AKs as loners. It's an AK-105 and it takes 545 as usual. Uh, we'll see how useful you find yourself to be in the coming hours. That light armor repair kit might end up being useful. Scope is kind of shit. I hate the Susat scope. I find it to be one of the most ugly looking things ever designed by a human being. I will use every variant of a PKA or a PSO before I ever find myself putting a fucking Susat up to my eyelids. No cap. I might keep this- I might keep this SKS, honestly, because a cheaper- a cheaper, less modern, uh, semi-long-range weapon might be somewhat useful. I think I will be disassembling the 105, uh, because there is no saving this weapon. Still can't move. Hmm. I don't want to- I don't want to disassemble the MP7. Ugh, desperate times, desperate measures, sorry. In you go. I'm disassembling all of my weapons tonight. What's my multi-tool looking like in terms of durability right now? Oh, it has seen better days. <clears throat> As a Polish boy, I always laugh at Susat scopes, kind of similar to Polish Susek, which means peep. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. That's- that's good. That's good. I like that. Well, had I known I was gonna find a headgear- headgear repair kit, I wouldn't spend like the 15,000 rubles I- I- it cost to repair my headgear. Alright. I have unfortunate news. The SKS and the guitar are both going to have to go to preserve my mobility. Sorry, Johnny. This machine may kill fastest, but I kill this machine. All right, there we go. What do you got? Oh! I have enough patches to turn in the quest to, uh, barkeep. Um, might do that. For repair kits, best way is to hunt some mercs. That is true, that's why I always be fucking hanging out in the wild territory. God damn it. So much shit, I can't carry it all now. I haven't saved in a minute. Uh, first take this off. I'm sorry, the, the EOTech scope is way too clumsy on a weapon like the MP5 because of the stupid claw mount that I have to use. Hey, what's on this PDA? Someone put a bounty on your head. Baited! Mihal came back alive. He met up with us earlier, so we should celebrate tonight. Grab some vodka and food until- and we can party like it's 86. I'm waiting for you. Until then, don't get yourself killed. Wow. 
They are badasses with their gear. I do like the mercs. Um, that's why my backstory is that I used to be one. Until I faked my death to go uh, just be a completely neutral stalker who works at the bar. The only reason I got this duty patch on is because duty supplied me with this vest. So I can uh, be a little bit protected while I clean up the barracks. And cook down at the bar. I mean, I go on mutant hunts sometimes. It's fun as fuck. When I'm not in mortal danger, which is rare. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to put away some gun parts that aren't in very good condition. Which is unfortunately the lion's share of them. Playing Anomaly as Cheeky Breaky is funny. I should try a bandit save. My, my only issue is like any faction that is hostile to neutral stalkers means that like 90% of my time in the zone is spent like going out of my way to avoid the bar. Which means you're spending, like, a lot of extra time just doing busy work and traveling instead of actually doing what you need to do. Nearly full. Alright. Gonna switch to a full magazine and then load up the rest that I have here. Yeah, this one's completely empty. Oh, hey, Rashawn's live. If they're still streaming when we're done, we'll fucking raid into them, I think. It'll be cool. What the fuck was that? It was like... It was like music. I'm a little bit fucking... Ha! 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 Thank you for the host fish! Thank you. God, I gotta turn the volume on that down so I don't jump scare myself. Alright. My trusty MP5 that has carried me through this entire save. Can you trust me not to jam just this once? Please. Alright. Goodbye. Umuratsuka. Novosos. Oh. Uh. There's a psychic presence down here. Is it a psy sucker? No. It's a poltergeist. You son of a bitch. Jamming? I'll get to you later. I gotta skin whatever the fuck this thing is. Oh, it's a zombie, but it... There's the Psy Sucker that was supposed to ambush me. Please, please no fruit punch incident like last year. One Polter, Bloodsuckers, Psy Suckers, and probably a Bureau. I've never seen a Bureau here in the in the Agriprom Underground. That's not to say it won't happen, but I doubt it. Less than half. Hmm. Well, depending on what could be around that corner, maybe this is a smart decision. Now, which way do I want to go? I think I'll go through the back. The shaker mods I've installed to change the coloration of this are... They really make everything look so much more sinister. Alright, I have to catch my breath so I'm a little bit immobile here. Every time I was in here, always had a bureau? Jesus, you must have had some rotten fucking luck. You poor bastard. No, get in the fucking thing, thank you. Oh my god, I'm getting tired climbing this fucking ladder. At least the good thing about Strelix Hideout is that it's 100% safe. I've never seen anything up here before. No humans, no monsters, just me. 
Oh. That's me. I still don't trust that vent, though. Alright. There's prevalent information up here, so we need to search everything. Nothing. Russian chocolate, half consumed, sleeping pills, military documents. A stash containing basic tools and an important anomaly map or some kind of information that Strelik had. I now find myself once again overloaded with items, so... What am I gonna do? I might just have to drop all my gun parts. Alright. Well, unlike the corpse of the bandit I stashed the others in, these can always be come back to, so that's good. Tools. Hee <laughs> hee. God damn it. I'm sliding over cars while I shoot. They think that I'm Tom Cruise. But bitch, I'm Bobby with that tool. Well, <clears throat> since the actual exit for the Agriprom Underground brings me right back up uh, into a military base. Fuck. But I saw a light source that was a little bit sus. It brings me back up right into a military base. Um, I think there's a slightly more... And also it makes me fight a controller. I think the better option would literally just to be leave the way I came. Wait. Hold up. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! I knew it! I fucking knew it! I knew it was gonna happen just like last year. When did I save? When did I fucking You motherfucker! You son of a bitch! Thought she could fucking pull one over on Sasha, eh? You forgot how this dance went down last year? I knew it. As soon as I heard a fucking noise. As soon as I heard the noise. BRB, I have a tournament match in War Thunder. No worries, homie. Always good to see you around. Thank you so much for dropping by. And thank you again for the host. Oh, I can't access the radio because this is somebody else's PDA. I don't trust like that. <laughs> how do I, uh, how do I get a hold of uh, Kino and ask if I can buy the rights to the song? How much do you think the rights to Grupa Krovi as the song cost? This, there, there could not be a better song for climbing up out of the Agriprom Underground after what I just went through. Alright, we're exiting through this little pylon right here. Avoid drugs if you can, eat clean food. Nobody in the zone can afford to live like that. Most people in America can't afford to live like that. Alright. Well, I made it. And I got a nice calming rainy day as my reward. Now it's just a slow dance back through the woods to... to the bar, I guess. Or maybe off to... Hmm. That's Sid's mission to go get the... Yeah. Weird, the game seems to think that fast travel is still on. Here we go. Time to fix these magazines of mine. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm putting it away. I have enough to refill all of my magazines completely. Who needs who needs basic tools? Oh, you know what? Before I head down to the cordon again, I think I'm gonna drop by the Freedom Base and endear myself to them by giving them some brand new basic tools because their their technician could probably use them. Tolpen. Tritium illuminated. <sighs> well, I do have to give my gratitude to y'all for. Hold on a second. Ooh. I do have to give my gratitude to y'all for lighting this campfire for me. <clears throat> Your girl genuinely appreciates it. I want to see if these guys can bring me back to the bar for a price. I'll pay it. Because <clears throat> the amount I'll save on ammo and medical supplies will more than make up for it. They don't want to bring me anywhere. I'll have to make this journey on my own. Barkeep might pay well for that PDA, though. And I'm sure uh, Butcher down by the garbage should pay well for these mutant parts. Is that Sysucker skin I'm carrying? That's good materials. <coughs> hmm. You know... What I could do... I could take a quick, uh, I could take a quick detour to Yantar, drop off these tools with the scientists. Wait. What? Wait, did I not grab everything in the underground? Is there still more to do down there? Are you fucking kidding me? I have to go back? But I, I I grabbed the military documents, and and and, and I grabbed Strelik's war, war notebook about how to get into X18, which is completely useless because I'm not, I'm not fucking in. Oh my god, hold up. And his notebook is completely useless with the instructions on how to get into X18 because I'm not I'm I have I have the open zone on. Hold up, I have to fight the Bloodsucker again, because I forgot to save after killing it, didn't I? Yup! He still sucks. <clears throat> Alright, evidently, there's more work to be done. Alright, well, I guess I gotta stay down here for a little bit. Whoa, what was that? What the fuck was that? Did y'all hear that? I don't trust like that. Uh. 
There we go. Alright, evidently there's more to be done down here, so I need to stick around. What's my ammo looking like? Less than half. Do I have another full magazine? No, they're both pretty low. This doesn't bode well. What else is there to find down here? Do I have to go back into Srelik's stash and look again? I guess I'll check again just to be sure. This is a good one, I like this. This is, uh... I think it's... Something... It's Tree Something by Lumen. Gonna have to turn that volume down a little bit, though. Give me a sec. There we go. That's a manageable volume. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming maybe there's something I missed up here? Oh! It was right in the middle of the fucking room. Alright. Well, now I have to follow his trail, which I presume means heading to X-18 next. After that, probably X-16 and then the Brain Scorcher. I swear to God, if more monsters spawn because I picked that up, I'm gonna fucking scream, dude. Honestly, including a radio where I could just fucking listen to tunes was the best decision ever made. I, might, I may not have any human companions following me on, like, this save right now, but at least I have my music, which has always been my only companion. You gonna, you gonna spawn another one? I fucking dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Spawn another bloodsucker. What? Did I just get shot at? Hold up. Do I have any cocaine? No. I don't have any Hercules or any cocaine. Fuck, these don't come with night vision, do they? Why is the operator site green? Did I, uh... Did I make that decision myself? Oh my god, it's Reefer. Vituya Vituha corn corner cutter. Timoka perp Petrua joint. Vladya woodpecker. Timo hat rack. And he's carrying all the gun parts that I took. Oh, that was a weird little world flash, wasn't it? I like how the world above is perfectly clear skies when I climb up out of the hatch, but as soon as I actually find myself in the world above, it'll be rainy and cold and dismal. Just the way I like it. <clears throat> yep, knew it. Alright, now I can make my way back home. So none of you guys are the commander, huh? 
Don't ask me why people get really shiny in the rain. It's uh, not something I can do anything about. Damn. What about you? Oh, none of these idiots want to talk. Now this is a day in the zone. Raindrops on my head. Loud enough that I can barely hear myself think. Obscuring my vision so I can't even take aim properly. This is a good day in the zone. Oh, look at the rain reflections, too. It's a very subtle reflection, but you can see the reflection of the actual bus on the ground here. <laughs> you know, I suppose I could take cover in that train tunnel for a couple of hours. If I wanted to die really bad. Controllers love places like that. That's a good way to get my fucking head scooped out, bruh. Nah. Ain't going in there. Imagine trying to fight in this. <laughs> no thank you. All right, here we are in Agriprim. So I guess the move is to head down to the army warehouses and give these tools to freedom. They're probably my best bet at securing a P90. Just popping tab after tab until I can walk myself back home in one piece. <clears throat> I'm hoping to god the train depot isn't taken over by bandits. That could be nightmarish if that's the case. Seems okay. Well, nobody's shot me on sight yet, so I'm pretty sure I'm not in enemy territory today. But sometimes I can't trust the sounds I hear in the sky. But sure, good to see you, homie. How you doing? Buy some shit off me. Bloodsucker tentacles and bloodsucker heart don't seem to 
sell very well with this dude. I guess because he only really wants things he can make food out of. If I had to hazard a guess. So. Mm. You know. Oh my god. A kukri is fucking almost 22,000 rubles? Bitch, you must be joking. I'll buy this though. <clears throat> A better knife? I can sell boar parts with this. <laughs> Should repair my Swiss knife a little bit. And my multi-tool. Probably gonna have to grab some matches and spark up a campfire in this tunnel if I want to quick save at all. <clears throat> oh, right. I gotta reload my, um, MP5, too. Unsuccessful? Go fuck yourself. It's gonna take me a couple of tries to get this right, I promise. Oh my god, how many matches am I gonna go through? There we go. There we fucking go. How many do I have left? That's not a whole lot. I'll have to bug Barkeep to give me more when I get back. I am a busy, busy girl, it seems. Eh, it's okay. It's alright. I'll live. Oh. I keep forgetting to reload the magazines. And so begins the glorious effort. Of reloading all of my magazines. So that's a 553 there. I tried buying a 556 five, EOTech, but they have like a, a T dot orientation. I don't like that kind of site. Might as well disassemble one of these watches, too. What's my pistol mags looking like? <clears throat> Awful. Good. <clears throat> Strelik's notebook used to belong to Strelik. A quick read reveals many rather disjointed and cryptic notes. The stalker had a crisis about an important decision he made a few years ago and wanted to quickly resupply at Rostock before pushing north to verify his choices. <clears throat> ah. So Strelik returned to the zone, he's active once more, and he seems to regret his decision to shut down the, uh, sea consciousness. Interesting indeed. It's 
It's getting late. If ever there was a time to head back to the bar, that time was now. <clears throat> it's one thing to get eaten alive, but getting eaten alive in the dark is a whole fucking other deal. Still too light out for the flashlight to do much work. Uh, oh, fuck. I forgot to load the MP5 again. I'm thinking I'll take the long way. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh. Sun setting on the zone. <clears throat> An eerie red light seeps in blood red. That's fucking scary. These are the kinds of skies you see in fucking series of unfortunate events or some shit. This is a very pathologic song. What an eerie sunset. Wait, what was that? <clears throat> Should probably load my weapon. Yep, here they come. There's gonna be more of them. Yep, I hear him now. Ah, there you are. Oh, fuck. Go fuck yourself. I hate dogs. I'm gonna die if I keep trying to fight this. Uh, what condition is my suit in after that? Alright. <clears throat> Please stop with the bleeding. Ninety four percent. Could be worse, I suppose. Not bad. It's the pseudo dog parts I'm interested in.
Fangs, pelts, tails, meat that I can cook up. Okay, I have a little bit under a full magazine in reserve, but I'm not going to load it up yet unless I really need it. Not while the bar is right here. I don't see much need for it. Alright, let's recon where I'm going. Duty patrols. A good sight. At least, if you're a loner stalker, they are. If you're freedom, a merc, a bandit, then maybe not so much, and definitely not if you're monolith. Four hundred calories. Four forty-three. Yeah, I'll take the chocolate for a bit. Almost home free. I ended up barely ever needing any medical supplies except for one med kit and one bandage overall. Honestly, I did pretty good for myself. <clears throat> Came home with two full magazines. I mean, my guns could be in better... Condition, I think the next financial move for me is going to be to tune these things up or replace them entirely. But, I mean, you know, I've been worse. I'm back. We won the match. Good shit. Proud of you, homie. I'm on my way back to the bar after completing my mission. Sun setting on the zone. Let's hope there's no dogs outside of, uh, outside of the bar. Sometimes you take the skies for granted. And then you see them then you see them when they look like this. And you're like, wow. It's there there's beauty and terror. I think that's a good way to look at the zone. Many terrible things can be beautiful. One more win and 50 euro each. Nice! Wait. I know that sound. Bastards. Well, I do have 20 rounds to spare in case I fuck this up. Damn, that was close. 
You almost had me. Tails, livers, hearts, meat. You know what fucking sucks? For some reason, the Anomaly uh, soundtrack made by Gates of Morheim are no longer listenable on Spotify. I learned that last night. I don't know why. Or Doge. Eh, they had it coming. See, I don't really know if I, how I feel about this extra music add-on. Because normally in Anomaly, this song doesn't play unless you're deep in the zone. Like, this is the kind of shit that plays in, like, the Red Forest and upwards. So hearing it here in the entrance to the bar just doesn't feel right. Anomaly has very nice songs in the radios. Oh, yeah. But I'm more interested in its ambient sounds. There's entire videos on YouTube of just, like, 12-hour-long field recordings of Anomaly. If I could get something like that, but with, like, the extra ambient, like, the ambient sound fixes and JSRS mods and soundscape overhaul mods and shit, that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. There it is again. Huge for the planet, my beloved. There's a whole sewer system running under the dead city. A grown man is able to fit and walk around it. Use it a few times to steal from Merc's stashes without getting caught. This I know. Pack energy drinks. The artifact business is competitive enough as it is. If you really want to join the rat race, go see the ecologist. Uh, don't really have a whole lot of interest in that. Nothing else to tell me, I see. See ya. I believe this song is called Common Consciousness by Gates of Morheim. My favorite is H3 by Lustmord. That song is good. And you can't find it on Spotify, which sucks. Definitely should have more creepy ambient sounds. Climate would be even better. Yeah, Anomaly has a really solid soundscape, and with mods like JSRS and the soundscape overhaul, it's even better. What am I supposed to give these two? Kino is very good. Big fan of Kino, Linda, Bidva, Janitza, um, Colt, tons of shit like that. Hey, Barkeep, I need information. I have a reason to believe Strelik stopped by here. No, you missed him. He passed by yesterday. I told him that a lot of people were looking for him, and he was adamant that he couldn't stay to chat. He was with four other stalkers headed north. <sighs> I reminded him that the Brain Scorcher is active again, but he didn't seem to mind. Put up half the food in my kitchen, and off they went. I'd call him a fool if he hadn't already survived all those years in the most dangerous parts of the zone. He had people with him? He had a few companions with him. Tough, experienced stalkers from the looks of it, not a bunch of greenhorns. Part of the reason I didn't really try to stop them. They all seemed to know what they were doing. So Strelik was seen going past the barrier. I want a mission to go find him and it seems it just got much harder. That's what you get when you try to pursue a legend. I bet he set his sights on the Chernobyl NPP again. Getting there won't be a, getting there will be quite an ordeal, especially with the brain scorcher in the way. I wouldn't go there without some sort of advanced psi protection. 
When you get that covered talk with Gatekeeper, he's a walking slab of single-minded grit who helps defend the barrier. He might help you out later on. It's important. I'll do my best. Thanks, Barkeep. Cyblock. He gives me a couple of things to Cyblock. Hey, I found some old documents. No. Alright, listen up. These documents are indeed worthy. They contain information about experiments involving the zone. If I were you, I would be careful about putting them in the wrong hands. 7,797 rubles is a good price for such documents. Bitch, I make more money than that fetching a dog's tail. Oh, I'll get you covered with other stuff. More money for any other documents you can bring. Deal. You know where to find me if you get more of these. And I will. <laughs> I have information to sell. Ooh, 900. Detailed observations regarding mutations on local flora. Wait, the bandit who is going out to go fucking... The bandit who is going to go party and get shit-faced with his friends after somebody put a bounty on his head? He was doing research on flora? That was a botanist? I found a fucking botanist who got a... How, how does a botanist get a price put on his head? Better better yet, how does a botanist turn to a life of crime? Oh, wait, hold up. Dad, never mind, never mind. No, no, I, I, I answered my own question. Thanks. <laughs> What I wouldn't do for a better mask. That's a Seymour site. Hmm. I guess I will have to go talk to Freedom if I want to get my hands on a better weapon than this. Lumen in the radio. Yeah, yeah. You should definitely listen to that, but you probably know it. That's... Let me see if I can read this correctly. Uh, that's a U sound, right? Liube? I think that's... Because I, I used to think that the U sound there, the U letter there, was an F, but it's not. That's... Liube? Liube? Uh... Davaya... Davaya... Nayar... Nayari... Lube davai davai nari nari nayarivai nayarivai uh nayarivai lube davai nayarivai okay I'm I get it now it's if I heard it if I heard it phonetically I'd be able to recognize it a little bit better that's my thing thank you really good song all right I'll check it out tonight always on the hunt for more stuff to add to my playlists. If you want to check out my YouTube, I have it linked in my description. There's a playlist on my YouTube uh, called Zone Music that features the work of artists like Alpha X1, Ugasanye, uh, Utro, Human Tetris. Uh, there's some Aquarium in there. Also, Pink Shiny Ultra Blast. I Can I give a huge fucking love bomb to Pink Shiny Ultra Blast? Making amazing, like, shoegaze and, like, weird music like that. Just the good shit. Hmm. I have an M4. God. Wonder how many parts I could have used to repair this thing that I left behind in, in Agriprom. How does it look with all my sights on it? Ah, uh, it's got that old rail too. Can't take off the triangular sight. Need an M4 RIS for that. This ain't it. I feel like I'm playing Insurgency. Sub, and it's a good playlist. Love the songs. Thank you. I mainly made it because of Ploho, their song, uh, Gorod Ustal. Really, really good track. Love Ploho. I tried not to include any songs that were already in the Stalker soundtrack. 
So, usual suspects like Kino or Alliance uh, and Linda or fucking Tatu were out of the question. Hugo Ugo, another really, really good group. Why did I keep the MP7 mags when I didn't actually keep the MP7? Leningrad is really good. Um, funnily enough, the, um, the, uh, a couple of weeks ago when I had my homie V Tribian, uh, fucking Tribs on my, uh, stream, he suggested me Leningrad, and as soon as the stream over, uh, the stream was over, we watched a couple of Leningrad music videos. Very good. Big ups to Leningrad. Also, big ups to Vulgargrad. <laughs> Love me some Vulgargrad. Me when I'm an alcoholic and a fucking dickhead. Alcoholic and a dickhead. Also, I was listening to a little bit of Gorky Park the other day. Specifically, California Angel, or no, California Promises. Not a bad song, by any means. Alright, this is meat I can cook. This is meat I can eat. It's a lot of cigarettes. A lot of cyblock. Ah. I wonder what kind of weapons I can pick up, because I'm going to have to head back to the cordon anyway to turn in these badges, so... Let's go kill some dogs for barkeep real quick. How hot is it in my place? Uh, well, my internal temperature of my room right now, with my lamps and LED strips on, all three of my monitors on, and my com and my PC currently playing a graphically intensive video game, uh, even with my AC set to 71 degrees, the internal temperature of my room is about 80. Um, the outdoor temperature is 77. I don't think it's actually 80 in my room. If it was, I'd be fucking dying. Oh! Got a new fight for me. Oh! I can fight a snork. Well, let's reassess my ammunition first. It was a pretty hot day today. 14 degrees here, but it's almost 4 a.m. Is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? 32 degrees. Okay, so you do mean Celsius. Had me a little bit confused for a second. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Hold up. The different, like, glow sticks actually have different illumination levels. Like, watch. This one reaches to right about there. But it doesn't illuminate things by much. The cyan, however, is brighter but has a much shorter range. That's actually really cool. 
I, I thought it was just like a color difference, but like the like there's actually like a balancing thing. The red glow sticks genuinely uh, illuminate further. Thursday would be 39 degrees Celsius, big Sag. Oh, that's not great. I, I think that's not great. How much is 39 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Can I can I can I get an update on that? <laughs> All right, two full mags and my baby. I'll make a little bit of extra money fighting the snork. All right. All right, time to make 6,000 rubles. 100 102 degrees Fahrenheit you poor bastard <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry Come on, open the door. Easy. Easy clap. Easy 6,000 rubles. Plus whatever barkeep was willing to pay me for that leg. Give me my money. Heard in the news that yesterday in the UK was 41. Holy shit. Gotta love that our planet's burning and people aren't fucking doing anything about it. My only solace is knowing I won't have much longer left. Alright. You. Oh, this is, uh... This is Season Song by Blue States. This is the end credits theme of 28 Days Later. In a house in, in a house in a heartbeat also plays. I gotta watch that movie again, bro. The soundtrack in that movie is fucking flawless. I can't wait to do a. Uh, I'm gonna be doing an anniversary music stream uh, again, because uh, one one thing I'm liking that I've been doing as I try to diversify my content is um, having like a, for lack of a better term, a uh, like an album anniversary listening stream. Where we like do like a listening party of like an album as it turns like a significant date. Um, so last month we did three dollar Billy All by Limp Bizkit. Um, I'm this Sunday I'm actually gonna be doing one as well. I'll post about it on Twitter in the coming days. And next month, I'm planning on doing an anniversary listening party for a stream or, or rather for an album that will be turning 25. And not only was it featured in 28 Days Later, but its entire structure as an album was the basis for the direction of 28 Days Later. <laughs> now, nobody spoil it. Nobody spoil it. I like keeping secrets or having a little bit of a surprise. Older people can't stand this temperature. Really worried about my grandma. Oh, yeah, yeah. My grandma's getting pretty, uh, pretty, pretty old, too. Uh, she's starting to hit that age where she doesn't really give a fuck anymore. So it's like, you know. One of the only reasons I'm, like, even, like, paying any mind to my like extended family is just so I can like be there for my grandma while she's still around you know so it's like you know I'm just I'm just doing what I gotta do I should have known this deadbeat motherfucker in duty wouldn't offer me a proper firearm I'm gonna have to either talk to Sid or um Loris or fucking Whatever his name is down in the Freedom Base. Grandmas are the best. Hmm.
Why do you all have your headlamps on indoors? Isn't that what the fucking lights in this room are for, or what? Wild. Ah! You want me to take off the glasses, I see. Alright, let me set a timer for ten minutes. Here we go. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, your girl doesn't know what to do next. Let me see. I... Oh, I'm gonna sleep is what I'm gonna do next. Yeah? What about me? Fuck. What a dreary place to sleep. I don't think I'd ever get any rest here in the zone. Somebody needs to go to the cordon. You know, Babbage. Babbage, I could take you. Because I'm heading to the cordon. That could, that could be some easy money. Yeah, I do like the chem lights. They're cool. They are a, um, mainly inspired by their inclusion in... Hold up. They're mainly inspired by their inclusion in Dead Air. But uh, I don't think they were at this level of, uh, or were they? I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to look. All right, where's the guy who needs to go to the court and so I can bring him there? Right after I fucking take a drink. <laughs> I just really like that the red one actually projects further. Read your message, need a guide? 4,000 to be in the court within six hours. Southeast of the Rookie Village. That's dangerously close to military territory, isn't it? Well, fuck it. Give me a little bit to stock up on ammo and I'll take you there. Oh, he got a whole squad with him. He got a whole ass squad with him. Okay, okay. Give me ammo. There we go. I did have a morphine ample when I went down into the underground. That's unfortunate. All right, clock's ticking. Six hours to get down in the court and deliver these guys. I'll deliver the bandit badges while I'm there as well. Use whatever money I reap from these quests to get a hold of some new hardware, hopefully. I'm just grabbing uh, one of my, uh, a couple of my spare mags down here. I uh, need to get myself a fucking container for my jacket so I can store things in it. Xenotech should give me a good discount. Oh, damn, the lighting in here looks fucking beautiful because of my shader mods. Holy shit. Well, also because of my reshade, but it's a very mild reshade. Still. Sometimes these places can just look dazzling. Pretty quiet, aren't you? Well, yeah, I literally can't speak, dude. There's Gerza dreaming again. Uh, 
Wait, I forgot. I can command them to go to go to some place. Hey, where are these guys heading? Must be a fresh hunting party heading out into the zone. Hey, what's up? 11 minutes to the last match and I'm too drunk. Oh god. Careful, homie. If I can just get my hands on, like, even something like an M16A4. I'll settle for an M16A4. I'll settle for a fucking M4 RIS. Hell, I'll take a SIG or a fucking G36 if I gotta. 14 bears, holy fuck, bruh. That is a lot. Closest I got to being drunk was a Moscow Mule and about five or four or five shots of uh, whiskey, I want to say. Walked just fine, just had a blurry vision, and that was it. I'm built different. Well, at least I'm bringing a duty squad with me, so this little expedition back to the cordon should be relatively s simple, I think. I should get up and get a drink. I think I'll wait until the glasses timer is over so I can do that. For me, it's not a lot. But, like, not for the regular guy. I see. That happens to some people. Some people just have a ridiculously high tolerance. I don't want to say I have a high tolerance, but I definitely am better than some. Do I still have any caffeine tablets? Ah, oh, praise be, I do. How do you do, fellow dutiers? Honestly, that's one of my only regrets. My, uh... My fucking new chest rig I'm getting doesn't have any spots to put patches. What the fuck? What are y'all shoot? Oh, it's zombies. I'm hoping these guys are experienced. They look at more experienced than the average Joe. I gotta see some action, okay? Not just high tolerance. Th oh, thyroid. Oh, do you have celiac? My dad had celiac. Oh, I love that when you do the, um, the carving animation, it actually, like, creates bloodstains in the mutant and shit. Turned out it was a crystal. No complaints. What are you shooting at now? Oh, that is definitely a cause to open fire. Yes, sir. Do it. Kill them. Well, while y'all are doing that. Hyperthyroidism. I see.
Thyroid is fucking weird, dude. That's a pseudo dog. Try me. Good shot, fellas. Oh, good. I can take, I can put the glasses back on. Very good. Okay. Once I get to the cordon, like the inches of the cordon, I'm gonna get up and grab a drink real quick. I'll literally be gone for like 30 seconds. Or actually, I'm gonna stop here real quick. Hey, where are the other dudes? Oh, I forgot to go buy matches. Uh, I can buy them when I get to the cord, I think. Alright. Give me just a moment. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> Back. I don't really feel like waiting for the, uh, waiting for the fucking, uh, water thing in the fridge to do it, so I decided I'll just have some pink lemonade. Probably inherited from Grandma after the Chernobyl incident. Oh! You probably told me about this, <clears throat> but I might have forgotten. Going to the match again, BRB? No worries. Good luck, homie. Knock him dead. I need to boot up like a separate copy of Anomaly in Vanilla just to see what it's like again. <clears throat> Travel to different places just to see what they look like in Vanilla because I've altered this game so much. As I posted about on Twitter, now that I'm getting back into classic Call of Duty, I'm thinking about doing maybe a, uh, a multiplayer game night stream, where, like, I set up a dedicated server or some shit, and then do a fucking stream, and, uh, let viewers join in. 
by like uh like let viewers join in and then like maybe i'll have like my mix it up bot just like post the actual password to the lobby every like five minutes or something that would be cool you know hey vex what's poppin welcome on in i was just talking about my plans about possibly having a uh maybe like a oh fuck well it's a good it's a good thing i quick save at the campfire um my plans to do possibly like a maybe like monthly call of duty for a uh, game night stream where i do it and then i just kind of like maybe give it a password so randos can't join in and fuck up the fun um maybe have like my mix it up bot like you know display the password in the chat every five minutes just let people and viewers come on in and just have a wonderful time be like hey this is when i'm going to be doing it this is how much cod 4 costs to buy right now bit like that or hey this it's going to be going on sale things like that personally i think people should own cod 4 by now can you can you still buy call of duty 4 on steam or do they do the stupid fucked up and evil thing where they make it so you can't buy the original after a remaster came out? Yeah, it's something I actually played with the last time I, uh, the last time I, oh fuck. It's something I talked about with, I can't remember if it was either Zilly or Post the last time I did a stream. But it was just like, you know, uh, it would be cool to maybe do like a multiplayer game night stream. Give my, uh, give my viewers a chance to smoke me. See, see how quick it turn it, uh, see how quick it takes me to turn me into fucking Wings of Redemption or some shit. I don't give a fuck, COD 4 is great. How are you doing today, Hex? Ah, uh, that chewed me up pretty bad, I'm gonna have to pop some... Pop a fucking med kit. All right, here we are in the cordon. Okay. You bozos. It's $10 till the 25th? Holy fuck. Okay, I should start making these plans right now then. Praise be. There's nobody here. Follow. Be like, hey, next month or so, you know, I'm going to do a fucking COD 4 game night. Have all my viewers come on down. Have a good time. Set up my own server. It'll be some good shit. That kind of thing. Um, I'll probably do it in the regular client and not COD 4i or COD 4x. Just because figuring out how to install that shit was a nightmare. And it's really annoying. I don't like COD 4x at all. The only reason I use it is because it's the only way to get into any lobbies. As much as Modern Warfare 2 is not quite as lively as COD 4, at least it doesn't have any of that. Well, it does, it still has modded lobbies and shit, but they're like, not as fun. That's a boar, dude. What are y'all doing? Oh, and because I have a new knife, I can actually carve this bitch up now. Let's go. That'd be cool. I'll have to figure out how to run my own server, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, fuck. Nope. Do something, you idiots. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please.
No, 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 no. I hate this shit. There's another one. It's dead. Vision's getting all hazy from bleeding out. You probably shredded the fuck out of my armor, too. Let me check. 89%. It could be worse. Oh, I'm gonna have... Oh, fuck. What is... That's another fracture. Okay. I'll get him. All these cats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He fucking closed the distance quick. Thanks, fellas. Ooh, a bandage and a fracture hand. Ooh, Butcher will pay good for these. All right. He needs to be right there. Wait, how did we lose somebody? Uh, do I have enough time to go back? Fuck it. How much is the beef Tachanka going to do? A lot. Might as well. Eat up. We have a little bit of time. We got here back to the court in pretty good timing, so... I think I'll, I'll be able to... I, I think I can afford to run back and see if I can find the body. That's the cat that I killed. Up! Here- Oh my god, no! The guy I was supposed to bring here. He bit it. I might have to load a save. I might be boned. Yup. I lost him, so I gotta redo this. All right, here we go. Attempt number two, hoping to not get attacked by cats. It's a pretty Deceptively calm day out in the zone today. Barely a whisper on the wind today. Trees are oddly quiet. Barely any mutants. And then we have boars. Fire at will. I would advise you not walk in front of my gunfire, Babbage, you fucking idiot. It's quiet, too quiet. Yep, that's what happens. You think it's quiet, and then you hear the fucking meowing, and then cats are fucking eating you alive. <laughs> Stalker expedition? Or furry convention? You decide.
Now I'm fucking worried. Oh. I heard that. Cats. We've already spotted one. Fuck. My gun jam. Both my guns jammed. But we didn't lose anybody. Alright, we made it here. I think it's a good idea to save my game real quick. What's another half hour? Now to cross the rest of the half of the level and we should be there momentarily. As long as nothing else decides to interfere. There was a fracture here somewhere, so... That could prove to be a threat later on if I'm not paying attention. And I hope to god there's no troops up here. Seems clear. Pushing up. Well, I'll be shit on. Nobody's here. Enjoying the soundscape today. The eerie purple sunset of Classic Stalker has quickly been overridden in my mind by these gray days of anomaly. Wait. There was like a ghostly whisper in this direction. God, if controllers spawn in the cordon, I'd be so fucking pissed. A controller could single-handedly wipe out the entire rookie camp, and I know it. The thought of that happening scares me. What? Oh, it's a... it's a pig. Well... At least it'll taste good. Though, to be honest... I think y'all should get the fuck back here. Y'all can hunt down whatever you want once I get you to your destination, Sergeant. Come on. It's gonna be a long day, isn't it? Uh-oh. If we came all this way just to get killed by a pulse anomaly, I would have been so mad. Alright, here's where we gotta go. Troops like to stay here sometimes, so I gotta be careful.
Well, 4,000 rubles could be worse. The zone will hit you when you least expect it. Boy, I know that. Even now, I feel something stirring out there. The zone is hiding something, the bitch. Artifacts aren't all good news. They'll kill you slowly with radiation unless you're protected. Keep in mind there are artifacts which can absorb radiation too. I have yet to find any anomaly and I doubt they exist. Most traders don't have anything. Always, always have something on you to deal with radiation. I'm sick of watching rookies waste away because they forgot their meds or couldn't reach a doctor. Well, I'm no rookie. In fact, StalkerNet says that I am... Oh, a trainee. Oh, hey, Rummy, what's up? Welcome on in. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Good to see you. We got through some spooky shit. I've delivered some people to a location they needed to get to. I'm about to turn another quest with some badges, and I'm hopefully going to use the money that I've just earned to buy myself a better gun. Something super helpful in a rough game? Gotta be rare as fuck. Oh yeah, for sure. Doing pretty good today? Wonderful. Glad to hear it. Привет, брат. All right, I'll do a couple of jobs here in the cordon for you. Maybe break in a new gun if I can get my hands on one in the first place. Here's your patches. Ah, uh, I might have to settle for an AK. But, ammunition should, should be in pretty decent supply. Well, that's less than I'd be paying for anything from duty. I can buy it with an OKP for a good price. But the problem now is magazines. I'll entertain this idea. I think I will buy one and use some of the quests that they're asking me to take on. As a means to equip myself with more ammunition. This could be... This could be the little push that I need. <clears throat> Unless you're working for a faction like Freedom or the Mercenaries, getting your hands on a good Western weapon is going to be difficult. So, outfitting an AK with some proper hardware might not be a terrible idea. However, I would also like to entertain any offers that Loris can give me for weaponry. Because I know he likes to keep more Western uh, hardware in stock, so maybe that might be a good idea. Shoot on there, see if I can buy myself an M4 or an M16 off of it. In the meantime, taking out a couple of mutants as some odd jobs to earn more money couldn't hurt me at all. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Listen to that.
Jet, hey, what's up, Jet? Thank you so much for the host. Welcome on in. Um, I am currently running for my life because a psi storm is currently happening. Yep, that's those, uh, that's those weather sirens in a high-low configuration. I know what that means. I've been on, there's a, there's an entire forum for weather sirens and I'm a member on it. Did y'all know you can you can legitimately go onto eBay? Yeah, it's a psi storm. It's what happens when the Chernobyl power plant, or rather the brain scorcher, unleashes it unleashes a huge outburst of psychic energy. Um, anything that doesn't die is probably gonna get turned into a zombie. Oh, that's what happens. I decided I was gonna be sightseeing and I fucked up. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a siren in a high low configuration. Let me give you a fat shout out where the game loads, Jet. Welcome on in. Glad to have you. But uh, yeah, I've um, I've had a weird fixation with weather sirens, and I talk about it sometimes. Like, uh, you can go on eBay and you can buy those. Like, I, I could fucking find it right now. If I went to eBay and I looked up Federal Signal 1000T Thunderbolt, somebody would probably be selling it. You could probably, you can literally buy yourself a fucking Federal Signal Siren that they use for, like, weather signals and, like, weather alerts and shit. You could just buy that shit. It's crazy. Jet says I moved my mic again. Oh, nice. Finding a perfect mic position is a little bit difficult. I might move mine into an upright state again, just in case. <laughs> uh, Vex says, I really like how knowledgeable you are on guns. Best I can do is gun, bang, bang, out of bullets, new gun, bang, bang. I mean, that's fair as fuck. It's a little bit difficult to be like this. It's it's just I've been playing this game for a while is all. Vex says it's hard. That's fair. <clears throat> that's fair. My desk keeps wobbling. Ah, yeah. Um, would your desk happen to be on any type of, like, carpeted surface? At all? Because if it is, there are, like, uh, hard plastic flooring you can put... To it is on carpet. There are, like, hard plastic... Like, a, like a hard plastic, like, mat you can place down. Um, that might make that a bit easier. Uh, my, my desk in my dad's place, because I moved into his old office, um back when he moved all of his stuff out of it. It was a nice, comfy little room, and I honestly really liked it. I hope to have a place like that. But yeah, I, I could maybe, like, help you out with that at some point later. Drop dead. We got my dogs to tell when a tornado drill went off to go to the basement. It was crazy. They could tell when it was and wasn't a tornado siren. I mean, that's fair. A lot of animals seem to be surprisingly susceptible or rather really sensitive to barometric pressure and shit like that. I got a big L desk, so I'm gonna need a big plastic thing. That's fair. See, I have an unfortunate issue where my uh, carpet for my floor is like over where my chair is. It stops right before my desk, but I'm gonna need to like cut the carpet. I'll like cut a hole in it for where my chair is or something. Or I'll just have to cut it lengthways. I don't know. It's weird as fuck. I can't wait to move into a new room. And honestly, I'm hoping I can ask my sister if I can move into her room instead. Um, my family keeps insisting. Like, my mom is like, oh, well, your sister moved out. So you can just take her room. And I'm like, no. I'm not going to take her room without her explicit permission. Because if I moved out... And I decided to come back, and I found out that my room was completely overtaken by shit. I wouldn't like that. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I don't want to visit that on somebody else. This says it's bad. If I move my mouse back and forth too much, the wobbles are noticeable. That's fair. Oh, fuck. Oh, here it is again. Oh. The, the little, the little, ex, like, psi explosions you see happening in, in, like, around the map are really cool. There they are.
Time to get the fuck into cover now. No! Oh god. Go, 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 go! Hi, Hip. What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> Everybody get inside. Jet says, need to go back in the garage and see if I can find my raspberry pie. Ooh, nice. That would be cool. Hey, you know what else has raspberry pie? The Ouya. Remember the Ouya? If you do, shut the fuck up. No, you don't. There's a thing I can do with it. I can block all incoming ads. Ooh, nice. I need to get my hands on a handheld radio. Because if you have one during these emissions, uh, you get some very, very interesting sounds due to my Desmond's Horror, Horror Overhaul uh, mod. During Psy Storms, you will hear things like um, fucking number stations and all sorts of cool shit. The Horror Overhaul is also why things like Poltergeist and Controllers and Bureaus and um, Pulse Anomalies have a little bit of a different sound to them. Welcome to the Sasha channel. Sound is really fucking important to me. Starting to get hungry, I see. Hmm. Is it time for beef tushanka or bacon? Or do I just fucking do I just smoke fat doinks in the zone? We did it, we survived. <laughs> Rummy says it's always bacon time. That is fair. Oh. Well, usually after a size storm, we do tend to get a nice rain, so that'll be good to see if it happens. Fine, I'll put it away. Okay, let's see how many people we lost. We lost Sioma Sinitsyn, Dark Valley, Fedya Vovnenko, Garbage, Vasko Prudov, Darkscape, Vasko Skamieka, Limansk, two other people, and at least seven more awaiting identification. The wonders of the zone. Oh. Oh, he, he, he just disappeared. Okay. I'll buy it.
All right, let's go see what Loris. Oh wait, we can turn in a quest here. Oh wait, no, we have another quest to go kill more mutants out here. Here's the problem. Anytime there's any kind of like big blowout, like an emission or a psi uh or a psi storm, people will start to take back outposts they normally didn't have. Exhibit A. Bandits are now coming to kill me. And the ones that aren't, uh the ones that uh didn't make moves to take back outposts immediately. Those are zombies over there. Those guys that you see over here... These guys, these are military troops. They didn't make it to cover in time. And this is what they're left as. I'm gonna need a scope for this. Holy fuck. I can hardly fucking see straight. There's so many zombies. We just lost a man. Holy fuck, these are a lot of zombies. I forgot that this can happen! Zed's intelligent enough to fire back. Uh, yeah, so that's what happens if you get, like, uh, like the zombies you're seeing here, these are like the, these are like the final stages. What, the, the dudes that were firing at me, those are what happens if you get immediately hit with a Psy Storm. Holy fuck, this thing keeps jamming. Die. Oh, fuck. As I was saying... Uh, the zombies that were firing back at me, those are fresh zombies. Those are brand new dudes. And what happens when you get hit with a Psy Storm powerful enough to fucking completely fuck up your cognitive abilities and you turn into a walking husk that can only shoot and talk about how much you miss your daughter? That's real, by the way. There's a video that somebody made where they translate what the, the, like, the zombie chatter when they talk to themselves and shit. And they say things like, Oh, my lovely daughter, you've become so grown. Daddy will be home soon. Or they talk about a bright flash blinding them but still feeling incredibly cold. Which seems to be a callback to the Psy mission that must have turned them in the first place. They'll say shit like that. Or they'll talk about saying, like, they'll be like, Oh, I, I get to go home soon. I just need to fucking work a little bit more. I'm almost there. I'll be able to see my family again. It's fucked up. It's super fucked up, and I can't believe they did that. That's what happens if you get... Freshly exposed to a Psy emission or any kind of Psy waves that are, like, strong enough to fuck you up. Like a, like a Psy storm, a, um, uh, the brain scorcher or Psy emitters like the brain scorcher or the miracle machine. Um, even mutants like the controllers or the bureaus can do that to a person. Sometimes even poltergeists or Psy dogs if you're really fucking unlucky. And, uh, if you, uh, happen to continue to walk the world for long enough like that, you turn into these dudes over here, and all they can do is melee you. Way to make a game- a dark game darker? Oh, Stalker is the darkest it gets. You should see the shit that did make into the game, like the Universal Soldiers. 
Unrelated, of course, are the Islam, uh, which is Russian for fracture, I believe, which are the zombies with the really long arms we've encountered before. They are what happens when... I believe they are meant to be remnants of the original Chernobyl zone. None of these masks can be repaired by this kit. We got a... MP-153. Well, that was a lot of bloodshed and ammo wasting. All for very little real gain. All I have left is one full mag in my primary and that's it. And to top it all off, I hear fucking cats on the horizon. The Snorks we see in the game are also original soldiers um, stationed here just after the original Chernobyl incident, but before the second one that happens in 2006. Vex says, I love looking at unused stuff from games. Sad part is most are so good you wonder why they left them out. Well, I mean, I'll answer your question. The reason it's usually left out is because they didn't have time to implement it. Time or money. As cool as they might look, if they're not in the game, it's because they either... It's because in their current function, it wasn't feasible with their time and budgetary constraints to add them into the game and have it be a playable and enjoyable experience. I used to be the kind of kid who was like, man, I hope one day we can get a game that doesn't have any cut content. But the reality is, every time a, con a concept is made, you always have to carve pieces off the marble to make your sculpture. And... As much as, as cool as it might be to look at the crumbles, like the, you know, the little crumbles and scraps of marble we see on the ground next to the statues, there's still that, just scraps. Things that really couldn't be statues on their own, even if the most skilled sculptor got to them. Well, at least these guys dropped hella glow sticks. That's cool, I guess. Looking for an experienced stalker who can lead me to the Great Swamps. I'm in cordon by the Northern Checkpoint. Named Stepan Shaggy. Sorry, not doing that for you. I even took an assassination mission in the Great Swamps, but I'm hoping that guy just fucking dies by himself. Looks like whoever I was supposed to kill near, um... In the Wild Territory or something probably got killed by the Psy Storm. Keep forgetting about budget and scheduling. Yeah, it is what it is. There's not really much we can do about it as players. Something's gotta give. I'm carrying too much. I'll sell this to Sid if you manage to make it out alive. Shaggy? Nah. You're speaking of rappers and silly names. Who remembers Chingy? Do, do, do y'all remember Chingy? I remember Chingy. Sort of. I only know one song by him, and it's fucking, uh, I Do, I think. Because it was in Need for Speed Underground 2. Fucking young Sasha growing up on Atlanta rap. Like, fucking, like, y'all want to know when I first got exposed to fucking Get Low by Lil Jon and the Yin Yang Twins? Fucking elementary school, like, third or second grade, dude. I was fucking bouncing that shit, because Need for Speed Underground start like has that song in the main menu. <laughs> then I got Underground 2, and I was listening to fucking like Terror Squad and Exhibit and shit like that.
More zombies. Okay. I can't seem to command my uh, my friend here either. All right, what's my mag looking like? I was in middle school when Luda was becoming popular. Damn. Oh my god, it keeps jamming. I can probably do without like a new fucking main gun for a while, but I need a new sidearm. Did he die in the Family Guy death pose? A blowout is coming very soon, you've been warned. Uh-oh. That's worrying. That's a lot of money this dude was carrying. This poor bastard died rich. I guess that's the dream for us all here in the zone, isn't it? Die rich. Live fast, die young, and have pockets heavy enough that extra people need to carry your fucking casket. Vex says I got nothing. All the stuff I was into is considered old by my generation. I mean, that's fair. I eventually found myself getting into things like, you know, Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and uh, all that shit. Mainly because of the group, like the friend groups I was being to collect. I was hanging out with people who were into like Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath and Metallica and Zeppelin and Megadeth and shit like that. So like, older forms of rock and metal were kind of what I was getting into in middle school. But like, then I discovered new metal. And all that, all that fell apart. I was like, man, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about Led Zeppelin. I like Slipknot, dude. I like Limp Bizkit, I like corn. All the work my dad went to, trying to get me into Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, instantly undone the day I went to a friend's fucking yard sale and brought home a CD copy of Korn self-titled. That's all I'm gonna say. Rummy, I meant to tell you, if you're liking metal, right? Uh, would it be fair to assume that you're into, like, forms of, like, like more, like, groove, um, uh, styled metal? Like, do you, do you like groove metal at all? Um, with, like, uh, if, if you like groove metal with, like, a bit more of, like, a southern edge to it, I would say, pay attention to my schedule, because this Sunday I'm going to be doing a listening, uh, fucking, an album anniversary li listening stream, where, uh, me and some homies are going to be listening to an album that will be turning five years old this Sunday. It is going to be a really good album, and I hope you will enjoy it. Because it's a good fucking album. And you'll probably know the band, too. You probably will. You'll see. No cheating. Don't look it up. Vex says exactly the stuff I was into. The only modern rock I was into during school was Godsmack and Disturbed. Disturbed, honestly, I, I, I have a pretty mixed relationship with Disturbed these days. Um, I think there's serviceable music. I just don't fuck with it. But like the other day, I decided to give like a like a re-listen to Ten Thousand Fists. That album's great. That album's pretty good, uh, especially with Decadence, which of course. So hey, hey, want to want to take a guess? Oh, hey, Sasha, how did you discover this two thousands metal song? Was it a racing game? It was a racing game. Decadence by Disturbed was a Need for Speed Most Wanted. Guarded by Disturbed was in fucking uh, Need for Speed. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Wait, no, hold up, hold up. I gotta skin the pig. Holy fuck, that was close. I almost died. Uh, Guarded by Disturbed was in um, MX versus ATV Untamed. And I think Indestructible by Disturbed was in... Oh, my God, are you fucking serious? 
I have unfortunately found myself in a bug and I have to reload a save. So give me a second. <laughs> Sometimes when you skin mutants, that happens. So yeah, and uh, Indestructible by Disturbed was in Midnight Club Los Angeles, which I also was, also was into. Um, so I had a lot of songs by Disturbed in like games I was playing. Indes like 10,000 Fists as an album is pretty good. Decadence is a really good song. Love that song. Um, it's just... Here's the thing, right? Talented band, talented vocalist. I just wish, like, David Draymond was better at writing lyrics. Please tell me I saved here after killing all the zombies. Grew up with Pantera because of my brother. Good shit. I will say I've never really crossed paths with Godsmack. And I don't really intend to, because I'm just not really into the butt rock thing. Or at least that style of butt rock. Nothing against it, though. Just me. Speaking of groove metal, I was, uh, I've been getting into Machine Head, uh, more recently, cause, uh, fucking, one of my, th this is a weird poll, but one of my favorite drum and bass producers, Counter-Strike, they're from South Africa, uh, they've sampled Machine Head a couple of times, uh, namely their song Death Star samples, um, samples Davidian by Machine Head, uh, which for those who don't know is a song about the Waco, Texas siege on the Branch Davidian compound, which resulted in a great many civilians being killed by the ATF and the FBI HRT. Uh, it was a pretty fucked up incident. And the song Davidian by Machine Head is about that. Also, the song is fucking good. Um, but I also discovered it because it is in the game Motorstorm... Uh, fuck. Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Pacific Rift? Yeah, that's what it's called. And, uh, it's a good fucking song. And then after that, I learned that, uh, Machine Head had a couple of new metal albums. And I've been listening to the Burning Red pretty constantly. It's a good album. A lot of people back then hated it because of fucking metal elitists and snobs being like, oh, you're not allowed to make, like, any any type of alternative metal. It has to be, like, fucking exactly what we think it want, like it has to be. But the Burning Red was a great album. Godsmack's first album is a good new metal album. So I've heard, but they say that about, like, a lot of bands who are in, like, the post-grunge thing. And listen, all right, I've had my- I did my time with post-grunge. I listened to Shine Down for a bit, all right. I just don't really have much of a desire to go back. This is some heavy fucking rain. Slayer made a new made new metal elitist can fuck off. Yeah, that's fair. Slayer's pretty good. Mostly. I don't know. I, I got respect for Tom Araya or whatever. I was recently given like an, a, a nice little re-listen to some older Metallica. I personally think Leper Messiah is a really fucking good song. Leper Messiah and Disposable Heroes are really fucking good tunes. I didn't fuck with, like, 90% of Ride the Lightning. I think Master of Puppets continues to be, like, one of their best-known albums because it was when Kirk Hammett was actually getting into, like, coming into his own as a writer. And it was before they started really pulling too much from country and butt rock and shit. So, like, it was, like, the last... <laughs> Or rather, it was the last album like that, where, like, all of them were coming into their own as writers before they started pulling too much from, like, country and butt rock. But, like, also the last album like that of, like, quality, or at least good audio engineering. Because technically after that, technically after that you had And Justice For All, which is a really good album in terms of writing, but everybody knows about its most glaring issue that will never ever be fixed. And I've listened to people's, like, fan-made attempts to fix that album, and they're pretty good. It's a pretty good album.
but like ride the lightning and kill them all and and shit are like way too focused on being fast it's just like this need this need just to fucking like have the highest bpm and shit and it's cool and all but just because of like the tuning that they're playing in and the speed they insist on playing at you don't really get enough time for the riffs to really properly breathe there's not really enough like it's it's fast, but it's not quite as heavy as Master of Puppets. I think Master of Puppets is as heavy as fuck. That album, I love it. Again, lots of love to Leper Messiah. <clears throat> Ride the Lightning is one of my favorites. That's fair. I mean, there are some good albums on it. Um, Fade to Black, Hits, For Whom the Bell Tolls, love that solo in the beginning. Vex says, honestly, I'm more nitpicky with my music. I say I was into them, but it was like a few select songs. Honestly, I used to have an MP3 player that had a lot of songs, but I can only tell you a handful of the bands. That's fair. I mean, Metallica had some good attempts to come back too, because I will tell you that uh, Death Magnetic is a serviceable album. The only reason it wasn't like received better it was because of Rick Rubin's engineering, where he fucking butchered it on, on the uh, mastering and mixing table. Like, just fucking tore it apart. That's Dave Mustaine, though. That is fair, yeah, that is a Dave Mustaine thing to just focus on being too fast. I don't- I don't give a fuck about Dave Mustaine, dude. Oh, Jesus. Like, I saw that they got, like, Megadeth has, like, a new song coming out, and I'm like, Bruh, I don't give a shit, dude. You're a fucking anti-vaxxer piece of shit. You are a nobody to me. He- he can barely even talk during interviews. He sounds like he's falling asleep the whole time. Kudos to him for being able to still play guitar well, I guess, but he sure isn't a great person. Like, say what you want about Metallica for being a bunch of, like, old wackos, but at least none of them have had any horrible fucking, like, opinions. I'll always consider, like, I don't give a fuck what my dad would think of me now. Metallica's way better than Eric Clapton because Metallica never came out and said that Britain needs to stay white. <laughs> Fuck Eric Clapton, by the way. You heard it here first, folks. Fuck Eric Clapton. Also, fuck Jimmy Page and David Bowie and John Lennon. Um, and Dave Mustaine. Beck says, I'll be listening to random music, and if there is one I really like that I search and block that song. Though I do enjoy classic metals more. That's fair. <clears throat> Y'all know me. 90s and up is my favorite. I mean, to be fair, I am, like, more getting into, like, older styles, specifically. I'm getting into older forms of punk, like, oi, and shit like that, and older grind music. Like, I was showing a couple of my ba uh, friends this old, like, British punk band called Doom. Oh, fuck. Um, that guy had a bunch of important stuff on him when I did that. I might actually have to load my save again. I'm sorry to load the save again, but he had important items on him when I turned the quest in. I shouldn't have let him- I shouldn't have done that. I love Megadeth, but I hate him as a person. I feel like Dave Brocky about Dave Mustaine and Eric Clapton. Yeah. <laughs> it's just how it is, man. Unfortunately, the, the, the fact of reality is that, like, 90% of people who were really, really big in, like, the rock and metal scenes of, like, the late 20th century are going to be bad people. Bowie was a bad person, Lennon was a bad person, Jimmy Page had a fucking cult. Dave Mustaine isn't- Dave- don't get me wrong, Dave Mustaine isn't anywhere near as bad as people like Lennon, or Bowie, or Page. He's just- he's just kind of a dumbass. I- I'd say in terms of, like, bad personism, he's probably up there with, like, James Gunn, uh, or- What's his name? I think his name is James Gunn, or something. The the or the or David Gunn, the guy from fucking uh, King Eight Ten. Rummy, what's your opinion on King Eight Ten? I feel like you're probably one of the only people in my audience who's gonna know about them. Doom is great. Yeah, Doom is a really good fucking band. I wonder if the game's logo is inspired by their logo. It's possible. As Dave Brocky always said, remember to eat your vegetables, kids, and never believe anything Eric Clapton tells you. 
Yeah. And his Eric Clapton's excuse for saying horrible racist shit while plastered on stage was, "Oh, I've I've performed with black artists and I have black friends." It's the exact excuse they always give. But yeah, I'd like to hear what you think about King 810 because I got into them around 2020 um, because I really liked songs like Alpha and Omega or uh, Kill 'Em All. I was like, "Damn, this is like the kind of music I like, like just complete asshole music." For beating the shit out of people. Um, and then I found out that their fucking singer was present at the Capitol siege on January 6th. And I'm like, okay, I don't think I fuck with this band anymore. Whatever, they're just like a, a worse version of Nasty, I feel. If you want like a gang-affiliated hardcore band, just go listen to Nasty. Or fucking, um, Lay to Rest. Lay to Rest is good. I liked them until I found them out too. Wait, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. What happened to Iced Earth? What happened to Iced Earth? I was listening to them like yesterday. Well, not like yesterday, but like pretty recently. What ended up happening? This is genuinely intriguing to me now. Because I was listening it again to fucking, uh, their fucking 10,000 Strong or whatever song that I thought was really good. I mean, it was very clearly just like fucking, you know, Iron Maiden warship music, but it was good at least. I mean, I used to Earth are from Florida, so John Schaefer is a shitty person. Oh my god. Oh god, I wonder if my fucking friend knows about this. Hold up. Give me a second. I'm just gonna fucking record the, um, the thing. Hold up. Give me a second. Hey, yo, dude, did you know that John Schaefer from Iced Earth was at the Capitol Siege? There's literally photos of him there. Oh, I believe you. You don't have to. You don't have to tell me to look up Esvidens. He's from. F he's from Florida. I believe you. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't heard of Nasty, I feel like you've heard of Nasty Rummy. But definitely listen to them. They are one of my favorite bands ever. Uh, their album Shaka is really fucking good. Uh, so is Religion. That's R E A, L I G I O N. Uh, their more recent album, Menace, is fucking amazing. The song Ultimate is just such a fucking weightlifting track. They are like complete wackos that apparently have had to flee to Belgium from their home country, uh, home, home country of Germany for their uh, affiliation to gang activity. So, that's the good shit. That's the shit I like in my music. That's why I listen to Laid to Rest. Blade 2 Rest is really fucking good, and I hope they make more music someday. Have you heard of, ever heard Pirate Metal? Uh, uh, I'm sorry to say this, Vex, but I do not fuck with it at all. I just mainly got, like, sick of people constantly telling, like, like, 2013 and 2014 were, like, not fun years for me to be in any type of music space, because people wouldn't stop trying to get me to listen to Baby Metal and Ale Storm. And I'm like, I don't I don't care. I don't care how good they are because... Listen, I'm not... You are asking me out of like a genuineness in your heart because you want to actually know if I'm interested in this and I do appreciate that. Just back then, back then it was impossible to fucking talk to anybody because the more somebody tries to like fucking like push me to listen to something, the less I am, the less likely I am to actually like it. And so too was that the case with, uh, Baby Metal and Ailstorm. To a degree, it's the same with Sabaton. I just... 
granted, it's not even just that. Like, I'm sure people weren't actually that pushy to me. It's just that I don't fuck with power metal and, like, European metal anymore. It's just not my thing no more, dude. Like, like if your music is written by about, like, Lord of the Rings or, like, any type of fantastical thing, I don't fuck with it. I'll stick- I'll stick with music from a bunch of German dudes who ride, uh, motorcycles into gyms about beating the shit out of people. I'll stick with that. I like- I like my music simple and angry. Just like the people I hang out with. <laughs> I don't know about good, I can't take it seriously. That's fair. Rummy says I've heard of Nasty but never listened to them. Yeah, definitely check out their album Menace. It's really good. I've I, I can I've actually been covering their song Ultimate on bass. It's really good. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you didn't feel like your feelings were hurt, Vex, because I didn't want to make it sound like that. Chris from Alestorm said really shitty racist stuff in a group chat with another band. Okay, well I'm good, I was never for lack of a better term, I'm good I was never on that ship then. Holy fuck. You know why I like Nasty? Because they're gang affiliated and they're an angry European, like, hardcore band. You want to know what their opinions on politics are? Go listen to their song, Note Zero Tolerance. It's, 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 the chorus is literally zero tolerance, always anti-fascist. They're, they're a fucking Antifa hardcore band, too, on top of that. Th these are the types of people where, like, if they... Like, the types of bands I listen to are the types of people who will beat the shit out of you for bringing your friend to the club if he's got a Confederate flag shirt on. That's the kind of music I like. Like, like, the, like, the kind of music where it's like they, they affiliate with people who beat the shit out of you for bringing your friend to the club if, you've got, if he's got a confederate shirt on, and their response to controversy about the thing is to write a song where a bridge just has the singer go, You call us unfair, you call us evil, and you say that it's unfair. I happen to disagree with you, motherfucker. <laughs> just, just complete, complete meathead shit, not taking no chances. Plague Gears are good shit, too, and our FTL is awesome. Good shit, good shit. Boston hardcore is wild, bruh. I'm I'm glad to be like to be listening to this kind of music and not still listening to the fucking ghost inside. Jesus. I can list off a ton of new bands I've been listening to as well. I've been listening recently getting into Gideon. They're a uh, they were a previously Christian hardcore band who kind of like completely uh, renounced their faith in 2019 and just decided to be a completely secular hardcore band. And their music is great. Love them. Not to say that you can't be a good Christian band. Just go look at Silent Planet. Here's how to tell if you're a good Christian band. If a good a, a good Christian band writes about less about shit like Jesus and your relationship with Jesus. A good Christian band writes lyrics like Silent Planet does. Like saying shit like, um, what is it? Um, what's one of their lyrics from, um, uh, fucking Lower Empire, which is all about American imperialism and the hypocrisy of American imperialism combined with its walls being shut off and having such a strict anti-immigrant um, policy. Where it's like, uh, legions of stone infecting the land, uh, legions we carved into the palm of God's hand, stigmata cities stitched together with walls intent on sanitizing the sedition of our dark traditions. We began with the purest of intentions, then fabricate the cruelest inventions. Amazing fucking lyrics. Love Garrett Russell. One of my favorite fucking songwriters in the genre. Just amazing. Um, NRFTL stands for No Respect for the Law, and it's a song against racism and police brutality. Good shit, I think I have heard of Plague Gears. A couple of my friends in the local scene might have told me about them. Collective Soul is a good Christian band. They hate Christian bands but still write Christian music. Yeah. Like I said, if y'all want a good example of a good Christian band, go listen to fucking, um... Go listen to, um... Silent Planet.
Fish says we won the tournament. I'm too drunk to stay here. See you next time, buddy. No worries, Fish. Good to see you today. Congrats on winning the fucking tournament. I'm proud of you. Go get some rest, King. But yeah, Silent Plan's good. Bit for a King is mostly okay, but they've, like, fucking ripped off Parkway Drive really hard on their recent record. Not to mention they wrote, like, a pro-life song, and it's, like, the corniest shit imaginable. I just want to say I'm angry at every motherfucker in the scene for not telling me that my favorite metal guitarist of all time, Joshua Travis, put out a fucking solo EP with guest vocals from tons of people like Ryan Kirby from Fit for a King, and it hits. Funny Christian music listen to Unblack Metal. Oh my god, yeah, I've heard about that. That sounds like the corniest shit in the world. Like, Black Metal itself is already corny as fuck. Take the paganism out of Black Metal, and you just got fucking shit that's so corny. Just unadulterated corn, but you're missing the clicky bass lines and the bagpipes, so what's the point? Ayo. Huh. I was hoping Loris would offer me surf rock metal. Oh my god. I was hoping Loris would offer me better prices, but it seems I was mistaken. Let's see, AK-74M. Well, might as well take it. Alright, well, I'll sell my old backpack and my old gun. I wonder if I can tune up my old P99 back home. I'd say it's probably possible. Sid had an OKP-7 back home. I wonder if I could get a hold of that. And I had one of these sites back home, so if nothing else, I do have some form of mid mid-range site that will probably prove useful to me. As much as I hate to kiss the MP5 goodbye, I do need to move on to greener pastures. Let me go see if I can get my hands on that OKP. Ah, this is nice. This feels good. This feels good to me. Now, if only there was an inspect weapon thing. I know that sounds silly to say, but I do feel like that. Probably going to call it a night in an hour and see who we can raid out to. Rami says, I forgot their name, but the creators of Unblack Metal would make regular black metal songs, and the very verse would have angels come down and kill all the demons and Satanists. They were a complete joke, then weird, serious Christian bands came into the scene. Oh. So it was like... It was a situation of, like, music made for goofs, and or, like, to trick people, and then people who actually believed in that kind of thing quickly joined in and overtook them. So it's an R slash gamers rise up scenario, is that it? I'm gonna 
have to sell some of these mags. Because I shouldn't be going back home unless I have ammunition for this. It is raining really bad. Pretty much, yeah. I see. I like that I'm slowly starting to retool myself with better hardware. What's my Goodwill looking like with loners right now? Six hundred, so it's better than nothing. Let's see if I can get a couple of more quests. Maybe burn out some more shit. All right, wasn't there a guy I have to rescue in the, in the uh, garbage real quick? Yes, there is. Okay, I got my work cut out for me. At least a lot of those bands aren't Nazis like a lot of black metal bands are. That's quite an understatement. There's a lot of those. Yeah, yeah, I can buy a couple of more mags for this. Got some ammo. Oh, but I want that OKP first. Wait. Is he not selling the OKP anymore? Let me see. No, he's not selling it anymore. That's some bullshit. I hate the tulip. And I can't afford that. Oh, he sells an OKP, but I can't... But it's for Picatinny and Weaver. That's fucked up, okay. You know, there's somebody I can turn one of my quests in here too, so let me see. Gotta get some stuff done before bed. See you later, Sasha. See you, chat. See you later, Vex. Wonderful to have you in again. Have a wonderful night. Be safe, homie. Alright. I got a little bit more money. I got some I can spend. Before I buy more ammo, I'm gonna buy a sidearm first. Stetchkin... Mm, no. Custom PM. Oh, thank you for the follow, Red Nuclear MC. Welcome on in. Good to see you today. What scope am I using on my AK? I'm using a Cobra. And that's... a different Cobra. Column Hater, okay.
Hmm. Well, let me go do that mutant threat quest. Alright, that's at least one full magazine to spare. Not enough money to be worth it. I might be able to cook up some mutant meat and probably uh, sell it off if I need to. I wonder how much Sid- I've heard cooked mutant meat can sell for a decent price these days. Let's see. Let's do some roasting. And while I'm at it, I might as well quick save. Time to roast. At least the summoning one of my one of the first black metal bands is like fuck fascism, get out of my genre. Very good. We stand. If I'm going to be heading to the swamps anyway for a mission, I might as well maybe give these tools to the, the clear sky technician, maybe? Let's go see about selling some of this meat. I'll keep the rat skewers for, like... You know, like when I need just like like right now when I'm getting a little bit hungry and the boar chops for when I'm really hungry The fat bacon I can probably sell. I'm pretty sure the bacon can sell for at least a little bit. Let's see Boar chops rat skewers Yeah, it's 2000. That's not bad With how easy it is to get your hands on mutant meat in this game. I imagine selling it couldn't be a bad idea. So let's see what this other side is like. Ah, oh, okay. Let's have some rat meat and figure out where my, uh, what my next move is, I think. I wouldn't say I'm thriving, but I'm definitely doing a little bit better than surviving right now. Red Nuclear MC. There's a reason Hunter is my favorite NPC trader. He just buys all mutant stuff at premium. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's a pretty good hunt. He's a pretty good NPC. I love that guy. It's only 5 p.m., but the sky's getting dark. Wait. Hold up. Okay. If the sky's getting this dark at 5 p.m., that means either it's raining or I gotta keep my ears open because some real shit is on the horizon. So if I start hearing crows, that means get the fuck out. Clouds look a little bit worrying, but not super bad. I'll keep an eye on it. But this is what pre-blowout weather looks like.
So I gotta stay on my toes. These missions should be relatively easy to knock out, especially since I now have an actual backup mag. However, getting my hands on a secondary pistol should be top priority right now. If I can avoid gunfights at any opportunity, whoa! If I can avoid gunfights at any opportunity, that'll be good for me. It's just—it feels good to have like a proper AK in my hands. An M4 tactical can be like my later on goal, especially now that I have a decent wealth of sights for it, like an operator, a, a fucking, um. Like an operator, a fucking EOTech, and an ACOG. Alright. Map says there's a threat right here. Fuck. I knew it. That is some bad... That is bad fucking news. I knew it. I knew that shit. I was like, this sky looks bad. This is a blowout sky. And then I heard the crows. They called me mad. They said I was fucking insane. And that I wouldn't call it. But I was right. I knew it. Rummy says, AK is rarely jammed, so it's still a gun. You can throw them in the mud and they'll, be, and they'll fire. Oh, don't worry. That's not a mechanic in this game. Guns only start to jam if their condition gets low. I don't know if I can make- Okay, I have at least a good solid 30 seconds to get back to camp before the actual blowout starts. Can I make it? Okay, hold up. Fuck. This is bad. This is really bad. God, I got so close to getting caught out in a fucking blowout. That would have been horrible. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on. No, 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 no. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, I just made it. Oh my god. Did you see that? You see that hip? Holy shit. That was bad. I, I can't believe I survived that. Alright, um... I wonder if the mutants are gonna be dead after this. That hostage I was supposed to rescue is probably gonna be definitely dead.
Okay. I think we're safe. Wait, hold up. Oh, oh fuck. Okay. Well, I didn't realize it wasn't safe yet, and I dropped dead. <laughs> Whoops. Made a little error in my judgment, it seems. So here's the thing, because I just loaded the save... Oh, the mutants are all dead now. Okay, well, I can just go turn in the quest. Okay, so... Saving at the campfire advances time ahead by a half hour, but if you load that save, time hasn't advanced. It's weird. So the blowout hasn't happened yet. However, the mutants are all just inexplicably dead. Let's see. Where can I enter the... Swamps. Okay, if I, I can do it from the farm, so if I make a mad dash for the farm, I can probably. How much money do I have? Just probably enough to buy a decent weapon if I go buy from Loris. Probably sell my MP5 mags, actually. Not much use for them now. So I'd say I have about a half hour before before the blowout actually happens after I fucked up that save. So I have a little bit of time to make a run down to the farm and see what's going on there. I am, however, hungry. Fuck okay, it, might as well eat some boar chops. Let's drink the suspicious metal flask that smells like gasoline. Couldn't possibly be bad for me. To be fair, it can't be as bad for me as the boar chops I choked down that are fucking irradiating my stomach as we speak. Hey, wait. That doesn't look like a bandit, but I don't want to take no chances. No crows. I think we're safe for now. I'm not convinced. A desert eagle? <laughs> no thanks. Sig Sour. USP. Browning High Power. I suppose I might as well just take the APS. Jesus, he's sa he's selling it for much more than he than Sid was. Scope too. Damn, this is a night side I could order, but that's too expensive for me.
Does he have any fort pistols? I could I could go for one of those, I think. Oh, a G oh god damn it, I don't have anywhere near enough for a GSH. I would have gone for one of those. That sucks. I like that. What if I took a risk? Does he have a Glock? He does have a Glock, but... Wait. I could have sworn he did. No, I guess he doesn't. I suppose I could do worse than a Walther P99. Up. Oh, there's the crows. I'm gonna go for the GSH. Why does the magazine cost so much? Dude, you better give me a fucking discount for this shit. Yep, there it is. He doesn't have the type of ammo this clip needs either. Well, this is the best it's gonna get. Well, here we are again. My favorite weapon? Um, call me basic, but I really like the M4 tactical you can get in this mod. I think it's a pretty nice little weapon. Um, I tend to stick with it whenever I'm playing a mercenary build. Um, as well as freedom. It's- it's a cool little gun, and I like- Oh. Fuck, yes, I got extra tools for manga, and oh, fuck, I'm gonna nut. Uh, thinking of music again, I read an interview with Alice Cooper where he said politics should stay out of music. That is so stupid, especially since he wrote political songs, his whole album Brutal Planet is about it. Yeah, anybody who says politics should stay out of music is a fucking idiot. I'm sorry, it's that simple. It's- it's literally that simple, bruh. They're a part of music, there's entire genres about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad we're in agreement on that. Alright. And now we play the waiting game. And while we play the waiting game, I'm figuring out my next move. So, the mutants are all dead. From where I am, I could either go to the meadow to recover Sid's shipment, or I could head to the garbage and kill that stalker right there. I think- or I could- I mean, the- the swamp, sorry, not the garbage. I think I'll head to the- uh, the swamps, actually. Cause he's not gonna be there forever and he's right at the entrance, so... I can clear out two quests pretty easily. The only one that's gonna suck is heading all the fucking way to the garbage for that. Punk without politics is just garage rock. Yep.
I think it's over. Yep. It's over. And now for my favorite part of an emission. The the post blowout rain. Look at that. You get this terrifying aurora in the sky coming from the direction of the nuclear plant. And then then it all it all just comes fucking spilling down from the sky. We've lost at least 12 people and the the lion's share of them are unidentified. <clears throat> And some guy couldn't wait to drop his fucking smug advice right after it. I've seen- I've seen more devastating ones. We- we lost a lot of people during one last stream. I'm surprised. Red Nuclear says, without politics, awesome slash depressing war songs wouldn't exist. Yeah, we wouldn't have one. If we were talking about Metallica earlier, one's a fucking great song. And not just because I like the meme where it's the guy in Ren and Stimpy waking up in the morning and one is playing. And the caption just says, Monday. God, the post-blowout rain is just... The way, the way everything is working together. First, you get the horrifying murder of crows all fleeing in terror a minute before a blowout happens. Then it happens, and it's the most loud and ear-splitting shit ever. And then after it, is just this... Just this fucking beautiful, beautiful fucking rainstorm. Black Sabbath wrote tons of protest songs, and you hear these dopey people who say that about politics love war pigs. Yeah, that's how it always is, dude. Or like the same fucking idiots who like were dancing outside uh, when the. F oh God. Red says I once saw on a mission hit a massive engagement in the war mode, and 40 NPCs died. Yep, that's. Fuck. Hold up. The visibility on this site is terrible. Anybody else want some? That's my target, Dan. I was running custom multipliers, so I had something like four times the stalker population. Oh, that'll do it, yeah. Well, the target's toast. Time to take a shit and leave. Especially now that I'm being fired upon by multiple targets. And when I say multiple, I mean multiple. Holy fuck. Get out. Get to the cordon. Okay. That's my assassination target done. Now to go get some documents in the meadow. I think once these, uh, this last couple of quests here in the cordon are done, I'll buy a couple of more magazines. Or maybe something, I don't fucking know. And I'll start making my way back towards the bar. Um where I'll go to places like the army warehouses to turn in these last sets of tools to make a little bit more cash on the side. I've always got some fucking cash flow coming in. Let this be a lesson to new people getting into Stalker. If you're playing Anomaly, the best way to get ahead is to always be taking jobs. Never be going out into the zone if it isn't for some form of financial gain. Alright. 
starting to get hungry. I might need to eat something. One gun I find hilarious is the PKM in late game where you can just run around in XO and 600 rounds of 762 and raise entire areas of the map. One of the only reasons to play duty as a merc main. Yeah, that I will say I do like... Um, now, are you talking about like vanilla or with mods like BAS? Because I'm playing with BAS right now. I am also uh, a merc main. Uh, fun fact, Red, the backstory of my character... Uh, you're seeing right here is that I was a mercenary who faked her death and proceeded to um, uh, go undercover as a tactical maid at the duty barracks. So that's the cool shit. Modded. Okay, so you are talking about like BAS or what's like the one that sucks that everyone makes fun of, like like the gun mod that's like so broken that if you ask for assistance about it in the anomaly Discord, they laugh you out of there. <clears throat> All right, here I am in the meadow. One of the most dreary fucking places in the zone. About to do one of the most dreary jobs in the zone. One of Sid's mules got clapped and dropped a box. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, one of Sid's mules got clapped and dropped an important box of documents and I have to go pick it up somewhere. There are way too anomalies in here. No idea which mod it is. Yeah, me either. I'll remember it someday. <laughs> okay. So that's where I gotta go. It's near a pretty big complex that tends to be frequented by some pretty bad people and mutants. So if I can run in and grab it and leave, more likely than not, Whatever type of mutant is in there will probably be dead right next to him. Sometimes it's dogs, sometimes it's bloodsuckers, we'll see. There's a stash over here I want to get a look at, though. If it's safe. Oh, it's just in some trees. Okay. Did I forget to actually put my magazine onto my, onto my belt? Yes, I did. it is are you shitting me more expert tools wow that's fucking insane i'm actually gonna go save wait this is stash so the contents are fixed <coughs> i'm pretty sure most stash contents are fixed so i shouldn't have to worry about that I hate this fucking area. The meadow is the the closest to cursed that an area in this game can be, by all regards. Look at that building right there. There's horrible things hidden in there. If now if I had a better weapon, like a shotgun or something, maybe I'd go in there. As it stands, an AK is not enough. To feel safe in a place like that. Alright. Here's my prey. Pseudo dogs. Altergeists. Usual tunnel trash. That is not usual tunnel trash. That's a bureau. Holy fuck. This is bad. Leave now.
Holy fuck. Why so many rats? I do not think I'm safe enough to, to loot those, so I gotta leave. I shouldn't have tried to pick up that AK. Real quick, I am gonna disassemble it, though. Okay, what else? He had a suit on him, right? No. Disassemble shit until I'm no longer over encumbered. I might keep that shotgun now. And my suit is down to 80% now. That is not good at all. Fuck it, I'm out. Wait, why doesn't the uh, ammo check button work? Wait. Oh. It's because there's no magazine in it. It's 7 p.m. I got Sid's shipment and an extra box of expert tools I can choose to give to anybody. I'd, I'd call that a pretty good outcome, honestly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stash these expert tools in a box right near, um, right near Xenotech. So when I manage to find advanced tools to give to him, I'll make, I'll make sure to make mental note that I already have the expert tools right in a box near him so I can stash those immediately. Gonna cross the street to go get drop these off at Xenotech. Run back to s probably sleep for the night. Actually, <clears throat> what's my payout looking like? Dreadful is what it is. Might have to disassemble the shotgun. Have, a ch have you tried Escape from Pripyat 3.0? The economy the economy is nightmare fuel. But the ballistic plates have increased variety and more traders sell them, making common stalker suits viable until later if you have good plates. I've actually never played EFP. I was I have said before that I was waiting until it was in a little bit more of a polished state before I do. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll keep my ear to the ground. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe sometime. That AK that AKS seventy four U that guy dropped, completely filled of ammo, but that ammo is old and dirty and will run my AK seventy four into the fucking ground if I fire it. That's not good. Is my gun have a folding stock? No. It's a solid polymer stock. Okay. It's gonna cost a lot of money to repair this suit. Sell more gun parts. <clears throat> It's 
especially that barrel. Ooh, a 30 round polymer magazine. Those look a little bit nicer. You can retool it to accommodate different calibers. Oh yeah, you can re you can retool magazines to have different calibers. That's cool as fuck. Lexa says, hey, can't stay for long, but wanted to pop in. Hope you're having a good stream. Thank you so much. Wonderful to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Stay safe, homie. I'll talk to you later. Um, CZ-75, sell that. <clears throat> well, if night's falling, I should get to sleep, so I don't end up getting caught out at night. Oh, I'm dying of thirst. All right. I'm gonna head out to the garbage, get that courier, bring him back, and deliver Sid's case. After that, I'm off to the fucking garbage, or rather, the bar, to deliver these, um, toolboxes, and I guess next stream, I'll just be fucking, you know, building back my shit. <laughs> I've gone from being almost entirely, uh, built out of, uh, starter gear, to being built out of <clears throat> slightly better starter gear. <laughs> Uh, did anybody catch if it said that an emission happened while I was asleep? Uh oh. If you didn't see, then we have a problem. The fuck? Okay. Alright. I don't trust like that. There's probably bad dudes up there in the checkpoint. There usually are. Hola, SA. Got some work for anyone wandering around Jupiter. Come visit Yanov. Yeah, like hell I will, Hawaiian. Fuck you. <clears throat> You're speaking the wrong language, dipshit. I, I know you're neither Hawaiian nor Hispanic. You're a white-ass Russian dude. Oh. Big frame drop. Seems clear, but I'm not convinced. Knew it! That guy's got a ghillie suit! I knew there were military goons in here, but dudes with ghillie suits? Wait. That means... That means I might get my hands on a ghillie suit. Oh! It's VD! Oh, I can't. Praise be, though. I get some more AK polymer mags. It might prove a good investment for me to disassemble this AK. It's a regular AK-74, rather than I think what I'm carrying is an AK-74M. Yes, it is. 
I did not expect to see a dude with a ghillie suit just fucking around here. I guess after the ghillie suit mod I installed, people who spawn with rifles just have suits. Yeah, he was happy to eat up some of my ammo in the process. I'm gonna have some difficulty getting across the garbage like this. My only hope is if somebody at the flea market has some 545 by the time I secure the fucking package. Man, being a stalker is suffering, dude. It's 7 a.m. and it's 4 degrees and I'm straight in hopeless. I just want some sleep. Sid's too busy sexting some girl he met last show. The reason I rush most of these and rush to Red Forester Army Warehouse is to try and get an AK-105, which is my fave gun off anyone carrying it. Uh, once spent an afternoon stalking some Freedom Squad until they were alone so I could pick them off for their AKs. That's cool as fuck. <coughs> How did they not see you? Because the AI in Stalker is usually pretty fucking... Oh, speaking of which... I forgot to turn this back on. I just heard a fucking pseudo-dog. Okay, I gotta hurry. The target's being held by bandits close to the duty, uh, the duty entrance. You know, I could... I could say fuck bring this guy back to the court and, and keep him with me for a little bit. Whoa. Yep. Load that fucking save. Oh. Oh, you were a free stalker. So what you're saying is you're a no-good conniving son of a bitch. A low-down, dirty, sneaky, double-crossing, conniving motherfucker. A character is now a merc with an awful reputation, but more than one mil in the bank. I love that. Wait, how are you able to become a merc as a loner? I hear you, bitch. And I see you, too. Your eyes still glow in the dark, motherfucker. Jump to freedom. Oh! Oh, yeah, that makes sense! Uh-oh. Don't lose sight of the dog. Gotta remember where that dog is coming from, because you could fucking ambush me now. So wait, could you theoretically jump back from Merc to Freedom and then to Salt uh, to regular? Is that how I could is that how I could fucking secure a P90? So wait, theoretically, I could go from being a Merc to being a regular stalker.
so if I wanted to, I could recreate my own, like, fucking VTuber character's backstory in a game. God, why didn't I fucking think of that? That would have been so cool. Yeah, Freedom are so stupid they would bridge that kind of gap, wouldn't they? Let's go see the flea market before I fucking start a fight. Ah, oh, yes, praise be. He sells 545, but not for way too fucking much money. I have made a clear sky to Stalker to Duty for that PKM, to back to Stalker to Freedom to Bandit to Mercenary. Dude was a Stalker equivalent of that Nazi guy that helped everyone and, every, and anyone and everyone after the war. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. It's fucked up. <laughs> Let me unload this mag. No magazines for this. What are these? 762, probably for the FAL. Yeah, I figured. Nuclear says, I just finished my dumb hyper-focus project the afternoon. Oh, good shit. What was it? Gonna stick with polymer mags. Alright. 
enough bartering. Compared the performance of all World War II 109 fighter planes in War Thunder, each took like 15 to 30 minutes, and there are 14 of them. I've been noticing I'm, I've been getting some War Thunder homies up in here. Interesting. War Thunder is not exactly my thing. I, uh... I did my tour of duty in Blazing Angels 2 for the Wii, and I consider that to be my, uh... I, I'm, I think I'm good on, uh... Playing games. <laughs> That said, wait. Oh wow, an actual sound effect for switching um, fire modes. I was gonna say that said. Wait, where is the target? That said, my dad would have loved to see games like War Thunder. He was super into World War II planes and shit like that. Oh, we got a duty squad heading this way. You guys can help me take out this bandit squad. This is a cool shot. How do you do, fellow dutiers? He thought I was trying to talk to him. Are they walking back? No, they're not. Go ahead. See what's up ahead. I'll be right behind you. Wait. If there were any threats up here, they would have... They would have been aggroed by now. I think my target is completely alone. I think the bandits might have all died. Let's see. Yep. Well, I rescued him. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. The amount of effort it's going to take to transport him all the way across the garbage in the cordon just to bring him back for, like, maybe a couple thousand rubles? Nah, -uh. You're coming with me, bitch. Say hello to your new commanding officer, Sergeant Sasha. I'm putting you in charge of the glorious, gracious duty for our cause, carrying all my shit. Here, you get to carry a cool sniper rifle, too. Oh, god damn it! I forgot. I still have SID supplies. I need to bring those back. Ah, uh, I'll do it next stream. Every stream starts with the tried and true test of having to cross the garbage again. Just as George Washington crossed the Rubicon, Sasha must cross the garbage every single week. I get no reprieve. I'd love to go all the way back to the cordon to drop off Sid's box and this fucking doofus I picked up from the garbage, but <clears throat> I have a I have an eight hour shift tomorrow starting at ten thirty, and I'm really not trying to be up all night. So we're bringing him to the garbage, and I'm I mean the the bar. I'm going to be turning in some quests. Red says gotta love NPC mules. Oh, for sure. That's the entire reason I, like, the only reason I ever keep fucking companions around. 
I usually have them wait far away outside of the battlefield and then come to let them take their, like, fucking... I'd be like, alright, now you can come in after everybody's dead. Carry my shit. Dogs. Well, no better time to test the AK. Are you fucking serious? Another blowout? I just realized that my uni classes start at 7 a.m. and it's a one hour commute once the semester starts again. FML. Oh yeah, that was me. My first semester was like that. I was starting to fucking doze off every time, every like day, because I was driving all the way there. It started getting better, honestly. What helps me is singing. What keeps me the fuck awake whenever I'm fucking driving, like, long distances, is singing. I used to be dozing off all the time I had to fucking drive my way to uni, and instead I just fucked- fucking popped in albums like, um... What is it? Um, Almost Here by The Academy Is, and shit like that. And, or, uh, Say Hello to Sunshine by Finch. Just belting out vocals keeps me awake super good. That's what I do too. Beautiful. We love to see it. Is this a safe place to stay? No, it's not. I just realized there's more quests to turn in here. Preparing a playlist for commuting. Good shit. I've got one that I just call karaoke. Oh, hey, heavy metal's playing. <laughs> like the song from the movie. <laughs> oh, didn't realize I had that much money coming in. Wow, he sells fucking this- he sells this caliber for pretty good money. Sammy Hagar, yeah. Especially with how bad traffic is where I am. Most of any time traffic laws are suggestions to the average driver. Yup, ain't that the fucking truth. Okay, I'm not getting you a Camaro Horn Barkeep, sorry. Ever seen a truck going 80 in a 40? No, that sounds horrifying. That's a lot of IEDs I've got. That's actually going to be very useful to me. All oh, right, you, the pack mule. Oh, I've got a lot more polymer mags. It had steel pipes for construction. Oh, fuck that. That's some Final Destination shit. I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. People are psychotic. Holy fuck, this is loud.
I should have enough for several magazines full. And after I'm done with this, I should have enough for at least one full magazine afterwards. Never thought it would end, said Sergeant Zakhar, and yeah, me either. Holy shit. Can't store Sid's case in the box. That sucks. Oh, might as well give, um... Might as well give the big man these dog hearts. I wouldn't say I'm armed to the teeth, but I'm definitely at the very least armed to the lips. Maybe the gum is from being generous. <laughs> Okay, my squirrel wheel is getting a bit fucky on my mouse. That's worrying. Oh, привет. Oh, almost two twenty thousand rubles. That's enough to patch up my shit. All my stuff's in pristine condition now, and I'm in full, full ammo, and I've unlocked mechanized warfare. And I forget what that perk does. Bonus items using repairs are more effective, which is extremely fucking useful. Let's see if there's any arena fights open since I've been gone. Okay, I can do some arena fights. You know what? While I'm here... I can stretch this shit out for another couple of, uh, another little bit. I'll do a couple of arena fights, deliver this thing, turn in a couple of quests, you know. If there's a bloodsucker, I can take him. I guarantee you I can take him. Oh, this is the mission where I have to win with only a grenade and a knife. Against a guy with an exoskeleton, by the way. This is the Kobe of a lifetime. And I win. It's that easy. It's that simple. You just fucking Kobe him in his spawn. That's how the pros do it. You just Kobe him in his fucking spawn. They're like, ah, we're gonna give Sasha just a knife and a grenade. She's never gonna win. But then I won. Well, I mean, the guy didn't leave his fucking spawn. I don't know what he expected to happen. This is the last arena fight. I'm not sure if they're going to give me medical supplies during the fight. So it couldn't hurt to just pop some morphine beforehand. Yikes. That's a needle. Uh. All right. Four man exoskeleton G36 free for all. And look, the G36 has hybrids you can switch between like a real G36. I love that. You 
Yeah, give me a second, fellas. I have to, I have to actually put my ammo on my belt, please. I ain't got time to bleed. Handsome? Jesus Christ, Sky, you're gonna make me fucking blush. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm actually about to wrap up the fucking stream, but I have a couple of arena fights to grind through. I uh, managed to get myself out with lots of new gear, and I'm just, uh, just doing my stalker thing. How are you doing, Sky? I love, I love the drawing you did of me the other day, by the way. Gorgeous. 10 out of 10. Mwah. Fuck. That should be all of them, shouldn't it? See, the only reason I'm not dead right now is because I took that morphine. I don't see a body. Ooh, glow stick and money. So you want to pick up the money on their corpses because it goes right into your account. And just like that, that's all the arena fight's done. I'm great now that I heard your pretty voice. Oh my god, Skykey, stop it! Jesus. A bloodsucker. Still dumb, but already with bad manners. Yeah, hold up a second. Let me gear up. I do need to get myself some better headgear. This sunrise suit could be a little bit better if I managed to upgrade it a little bit. But the headgear is definitely not enough. If I can get myself a sphere 8 at least, maybe. This is literally just a fucking, like, mask they have in Metro 2033. By the way, everybody, uh, I'm going to drop a shout out for Skykey in the fucking chat real quick. Uh, amazing, amazing person and super good artist. Let me see here. Uh, second. That's my Russian keyboard. Oops. There you go. There's their Twitter. Go follow them. They're great. You'll love the art they do. Now, let's kill us a bloodsucker. The morphine hasn't worn off, so I should be okay. Triple win. 30 seconds. I'll make 9,000 rubles in 10 seconds. Watch. Um, actually, hold up. My, my flashlight batteries are out. Wait, what? Oh, I see now. It's broken. Wait, this is a problem. I need to fix my fucking flashlight. Fast. Without a flashlight, I don't stand a chance in this fucking fight. There we go. Rest in peace, bozo. <laughs> I told you, that was less than fucking ten seconds. That was like two. Uh, Sky says, bottom text, thank you, S thank you so much. Of course, always happy to give shoutouts to the homies. Where's my 9,000 rubles? Thank you, I'll take that. Now we got a quest to go turn into Petrenko. See, look at that. I was scraping by with fucking nothing after I spent it all on this fucking pistol and AK, and now I'm rolling in cash again. Let's go. The Sasha life. <laughs> Blow up the kids and the wife. Good. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, Lois. Look at all this money. Fucking, I need, I need to find a way- Holy fuck, okay. And, and that's not- I haven't even given this box of tools yet to freedom. I also like whenever you use, like, morphine or a med kit, you end up with an empty syringe in your inventory, which you can then recycle by combining with other medical supplies into new med kits or other tools. 
That's cool as fuck. I love that. Does, uh, does Veronin have any quests? No. Alright. Gonna save, head to the army warehouses, and call it a night, because it's been a long fucking day. I cannot wait for next week's Stalker Tuesday, because I am finally starting to be pretty well equipped. Wait, hold up. I need a scope. I need a scope. I'm just going to buy a bunch of scopes. Probably didn't have to do that. You know the mine in the north part of the Red Forest? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's usually Sin people in there, right? Sin is in there. Oh, no, Rummy, I wasn't doing Ghetto Boys. I was doing a uh, big pun. But, uh, very close, very close. I was doing big pun, um, Glamour Life. He was probably referencing Ghetto Boys, though. Red says I'm stuck in the middle of the mine between squads of Sin and Monolith since they hold- since they hated it due to an emission. Oh my god, you poor bastard. Pour one out- pour one out for Red Nuclear, who's never gonna fucking make it out alive. Holy shit. What? There we go. I do wish that the different types of magazines you're loading would show on the weapon model. So I wish it would show that I'm using black polymer magazines as opposed to the red ones that uh, come standard with an AK, uh, AK-74M, but it's okay. You know, you can't, it's, the, the BAS mod wasn't designed for this. Now let's get a good look at these scopes real quick before I head over there. So we've got this fucking ugly ass thing. What, what fucking, what, what fucking, uh, magnification is that? 2.8, yeah, there you go. Red says I'm blowing through army med kits like no tomorrow. Oh, there probably will be no tomorrow if you don't use them, so, you know. Here's another disgusting fucking Susat. Okay. Now for the wreckers. Oh! This I like. This I like. This is a, this is like a PKA. Well, it's not. A, it's not. It isn't a PKA, but it's like one. Wreckers A, the one P seven six optical sight des designed for battlefield surveillance, target selection, target ranging, and aimed fire against luminous and illuminated targets during the day, at dusk, and at night. The sights have a wild field of view that allows for quick terrain observation in a fast-moving combat situation simultaneously with the naked eye and through the sight without loss of target visibility. Very good. Now let's get a look at this other tulip sight. Still disgusting. I probably shouldn't have bought these. I just wanted to buy all the sights I can, bruh. Did, it, did anybody see if he was selling a night sight? This is this is a good one though. The PSO without a without the eye cup is a good one. Died to a bunch of Nozarog monoliths after killing all the Sin guys. Joy, fucking monoliths, dude. Sin may be psychopaths, but monoliths are fucking inhuman. They're like robots. They literally don't give a fuck. And, and nothing illustrates that better than the fact that whenever they're down and normally in a state where other characters can be interrogated, instead they just blow you up. Because they don't give a shit. The monolith are so fucking terrifying to fight. I remember seeing a post on the Reddit where someone was playing Warfare as a Freedomer, and he pulls up his PDA, and there's like fucking 15 purple dots moving in on the Freedom base, and he's like, each one of these dots is a monolith squad. And I'm like, holy fuck, dude, you're dead. 
Oh, zombies. Ouch. If I wasn't already fueled by morphine, that would have hurt a little bit. But you did drop some gun oil, so I appreciate you. On a surface level. I'm just here to deliver some tools to fucking... Why do they keep giving me so many IEDs? There are so many horrible jokes I can make with that, but I'm not gonna. Monolith incursions can be like 20 plus guys, it's insane. Yeah, no, I hate doing monolith incursion missions. They are the fucking worst. I simply refuse to take monolith assassination missions because even because people will be like, oh, you know, you can just get yourself a sniper rifle and uh, fucking pick them off from a distance. Yeah, but first you have to push through enemy lines and monolith lines are never not well defended. You will have to push through outpost upon outpost upon outpost of insane cultists, all heavily armored and armed and thirsty for human blood. Fights against the monolith are why I fucking hate late game anomaly because they are something you have to deal with forever. Sure, say what you want about the early game and how much it can kind of be a little bit of a slog to gear yourself up, but at least you're not fighting insane cultists all with fucking, like, high caliber rifles, extremely difficult to penetrate armor, superior numbers at every turn, and they love to throw grenades like it's a fucking party, dude. I hate the monolith. All my homies hate the monolith. This guy here, he probably doesn't even know who the monolith is, but he still hates them. Like, like, a single mission to kill off one monolith guy is like a final level in a Hitman game. Just a fucking hornet's nest, dude. And we're talking like those murder hornets that were appearing in 2020. Like, I'm not talking no paper wasps. I'm talking like fucking horror movie hornets. The zone's fucked up. Red said, to enter Red Forest, I had to kill four squads of Monolith. Yeah, that's another reason why I'm going to be bringing the squads with me more and arming them better. And I also installed a mod called, um, like, Loot Allocation or some shit. But it's essentially, like, <laughs> it prevents you from looting every enemy that you kill. Uh, because enemies that were killed by other characters will have their loot claimed by them. So, for example, if my squad man over here ends up killing a monolith, I can't just ki I can't just take that monolith's loot because he lays claim to it now. And he'll fire on me if I take it. I'm I'm counting how many monoliths in sin I just killed in the mine. Fuck's sake. You're a fucking hero of the zone, that's all I'm gonna tell you. Oh, I should get that quest to go blow up the military. This is why I've been saving all my IEDs. Okay, Zone Raker, that probably requires me to kill a pretty massive bandit squad. I don't take... Oh, it's a military one. Um, Not doing that one. Not killing duty. I'm also not killing duty. And I'm not killing duty. Sorry, I'm not fucking firing on them, dude. Well, you know what? I'll probably I'll probably collect a lot of military faction patches passively while I'm doing the uh the military vehicle mission, so I'll take that one. Get back to me. I will. Don't worry. Now I gotta see if one of these guys sells any GSH-18, uh, magazines. What's my pay grade looking like? I'm almost back up to 4,000 rubles after spending, like, 
fucking 2,500 or 25,000 on rifle scopes alone. Hey, got any GSH-18 uh, clips? No, you don't. Um, what you do have is quite a few scopes. Ammunition, gasoline, I don't need. Damn. An MP5 SD6, I would have liked one of those. In fact, I technically could buy it now if I wanted to. It's not going anywhere. It can wait. I'm pissed that the OKP-7 can't go on an AK. That's like such a, like, iconic, like, eastern scope. And I can't put it on. We got some fucking stendos. Polymer stendos. Modern PMAG style magazine holding 30 rounds. Considerably lighter than its steel counterpart. The ergonomic design facilitates quick loading of cartridges. I'm pretty sure we're good for the night, yeah. Made back plenty of money. Outfitted myself with some good gear. I mean, I could go for a suppressor for both of these weapons, if they take them. Nuclear says, I'm taking screenshots, I'm gonna get them on Inger, Imger to show how insane that engagement was. Yo, on God? For real? Um, if you do, uh, you can send that link to my Twitter, at, um, at Zone Photos on Twitter. I run the Stalker Aesthetics Twitter account. If you wanna send that link in my DMs to the Zone Photos Twitter account, uh, I can post some of them, and, uh, give you an at- That'd be cool shit. Because I am trying to get some more viewer submissions in. So it'd be like, hey, you know, what's up? Got this uh, homie who ran up on my stream and is essentially a fucking stalker war hero for the 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 the, the, the good he did for the zone. <laughs> Exterminating the monolith. For those who don't know that much about Stalker, the monolith as a as a I have to create a Twitter, but cool, gonna do that. Good shit. Uh, the link to my Zone Photos Twitter is also in my About section here on Twitch. But uh, for those who don't know, the Monoliths are a faction that is created entirely by accident here in the Zone. Well, not by accident, but it's a long story. They're a faction created not out of decision, but out of brainwashing completely. Um, what happens is there are multiple different psychic emitters designed by the ex-Soviet scientists who were to blame for the Zone in the first place. These psi emitters prevent you from going into deep areas of the zone and discovering the true nature of it. Um, what happens is if you happen to go in within range of these psi emitters, you saw those zombies that uh, we were fighting earlier. Um, if you end up lucky, you'll turn into one of those. If you're not, uh, you will instead be brainwashed to be an agent of the monolith. They are cultists who worship the center of the zone and the wish granter, and they are bloodthirsty motherfuckers. They don't fear, they don't feel pain, and they don't run away. If they get into an engagement with you, your best fucking hope is to either just stand your ground and hope you have enough ammo, or run away in terror. Let's see if any of these guys can be looted. Nope. Oh, I can loot Mitya. Yeah, see, here you go. Sava Legionary told me to not take that guy's uh, stuff. That's the mod in action. <laughs> Bend your germ. Huh. So, wait, Nuclear, I want to ask if you change factions, do you lose goodwill with any factions? Like, do I lose duty goodwill if I decide to become a freedomer as a loner stalker? Oh, gunfight is happening. Hold up. <laughs> Thanks, your death is not in vain, he says. No, you don't? Okay, good. Well, he killed somebody and took his shit. Such is life in the zone. Ooh, 
are these guys? Are these mercs? No, they're clear sky. Sometimes it's genuinely hard to tell with these people. That USP could be useful in the future. I'm pretty sure I have enough IEDs to be able to do that military mission. All that's... All, the only real problem now is actually... So I guess what I'll, what I'll do is I'll bring this case and this newbie right down to fucking the cordon. I'll drop him off right near Sid's base, and I will proceed to Rambo the fuck out of the Ukrainian military. The USS is gonna be fucking DOA. I am going in there, and I am turning them all into paste. And I got a serviceable AK for the job. I don't think your friends are coming for you. Man, I stayed on like 40 minutes longer than I needed to. Just because I wanted to do a little bit of extra work. And I didn't even take much of a break tonight. Oops. I, I guess I made a fucky-wucky. I mean, unless you count that time I got up to get some fucking lemonade. <laughs> Four to five ACP. I have some of that. I could make usage of it, I suppose. Sasha, when the fuck do you plan to rest? Um, as soon as I buy myself a new magazine for this pistol and call it a night. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got a hydrate and, and I can't. I got a hydrate. Hold up. All right, hold up. Sorry, I just get carried away playing my favorite game. But thank you for the Hydra Redeem. I genuinely appreciate it. All right, let's go see if uh, Petrenko will sell me a night scope and possibly a new clip for this GSH, and then I'm calling it a night. I've already exhausted all the arena fights, at least until they bring in the beast. But unlike the like normal PV like PV like E ones where you fight human stalkers that are just uh, like fucking, you unlock them based on your rank. The mutant fights are just based on time. I'm not getting you a chimera horn, dude. Even if you were my best friend in the world, I wouldn't get you one. Sorry. Oh, good. You know what? I'll take two. So I have a full magazine in the chamber for each weapon, along with three full magazines in my vest. Beautiful. Like I said, I don't think I'm armed to the teeth, but I'm at the very least armed to the lips or the gums, so this is good enough. Hey, wait, where's my guy? Oh my god. Okay, hold on a second. I have to go fucking get my courier, dude. Because I don't remember where I left him. <laughs> Alright, let me go see who we can raid while I'm uh, going to pick up this dumbass who I decided to babysit anyway. Oh, wrong entrance. Shit. Do I have any chocolate? Yes, I do. All right, who is on tonight? Poppy, Johnny Jellyjaw, 
scary. Huh. I don't know. Most of these people are pulling some pretty big viewers right now. Well, no. Poppy only has 11? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Did he just go live? Ah. He just got raided. Yeah, no. He don't need no raids. Got the count? Good shit. What's, what's the count? 9 sin, 12 monolith, and 2 zombies. You know, normally... In, like, any other game, like in Call of Duty or something, that wouldn't sound very, like, momentous. But in a game like Stalker, and fighting enemies like Sin and the Monolith, that is a huge, a huge fucking body count. <laughs> like, you're lucky to not get clapped by one squad. Yeah, Twitch must be glitching. Yeah, okay, Poppy's got 79. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to, like, raid people who have, like, pretty small viewership. Try and send my people over. Um, I think I'm going to try and look into finding another streamer who might be streaming Stalker right now. All right, where are you, dipshit? There he is. Used up 180 rounds of regular 762 by 39, 60 of armor piercing, and 40 of 762 51 armor piercing. An SR25 I got off a of Merc came in clutch. Very good. Very good choice of arms. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to go meet with Lukash for my fucking story mode mission. Okay, hold up, hold up. I, I'm sorry I keep stalling. I'm sorry I keep stalling. I just keep getting shit to do. Here, you know what? Just just, just to prove to y'all I'm serious, I'm going to call tonight in the Freedom Base. I won't even run back to the bar. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to run back to the bar, though. Hello. Wish uh, reflex sights in this AK did not look the fucking same, though. I do like this, though. Cool. Praise be to the shader based sights for uh, being a really good mod that just kind of makes scopes look a little bit nicer. In a mod where scopes are very disparate. Can't take the screenshot because the Forester BAS is still filled with monolith. Just got headshotted. Holy fuck. <clears throat> yeah, that's one thing that I fucking hate about Anomaly. Is that every single time you enter the Red Forest from any direction, a squad, like multiple squads of monoliths spawn right outside Forester's hideout. No matter what. It's extremely fucking annoying. Alright, wait here. I gotta go talk to Lakash again. I've come to see you. Come on, dude. A monolith assassination? To be fair... To be fair, he's in Lemonsk. Lemonsk is not the biggest map. As long as he's not in the construction site... The construction site... Be fine. He's in the construction site. This area right here. This is a construction site. It is the most heavily guarded monolith stronghold in the entire map. This this position here is pretty pretty heavily defended. After that, you have to go through a bunch of detours, all of which are constantly patrolled by the monolith. This is space anomaly right here. Then you get right up here, and you are constantly under fire for the next hour until you clear out this entire fucking construction site. 
and that's where he is. Not to mention one of the only ways to get to Lamansk is through the fucking dead city, which requires me to do some chicanery with the mercs, or to go through the red forest, which is filled with, you guessed it, more monolith. I can't get any fucking rest. I'm not doing that quest for a long fucking time. No, sir. No, -uh, not happening. All right. Bring this dumbass back to the bar and we're calling it a night. I've had enough. Five hours, not my longest, it's not my shortest. It's a good stalker Tuesday, though. We come here for the immaculate, <laughs> the immaculate, um, I don't know, hellscape vibes, the fuck you want me to say. But Red over here seems to be dealing with, uh, a literal fucking war zone. So what business were you entering the Red Forest on, by the way, Red? I'm, I'm interested in hearing about this. Because usually I only, end, I only enter there to pass through, uh, mainly in hopes that I won't have to deal with as much monolith. To be honest, going through radar now seems to be like a more viable option. You don't have to fight half as much monolith going through the red, uh, going through radar as you do through the red forest. Not to mention the red forest is full of mutants. There's just no way to win in that fucking map, dude. It's a nightmare. You thought it was bad in clear sky, but in fucking anomaly, it's it's a shithole from which no no one can hope to escape. Four assassination missions all in the forest, and I had two in Limansk. Okay. How how many of those missions were completed just by wiping out all those squaws that you did? Clear sky? Clear sky, okay. All of them? Very good. Very good. Proud of you. I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly kind of happy that this uh, assassination mission isn't in the Red Forest. You know, you know, I did pick up an SVD off that off that uh, military sniper back in the cordon. If if I could get my hands on a proper ghillie suit, <clears throat> increase the magnification, get my hands on some proper um, high velocity rounds, I think... Considering the construction site in Lemansk is, I would say, not very well defended in terms of its actual physicality. Its walls tend to be open, there's a lot of windows, or just, like, only foundations and pillars, not really walls. There's a lot of openings into that building. If he doesn't leave that construction site, if I'm feeling brave enough, I could cut through the Red Forest, head to Lemansk, and find a way to pop him from quite a distance away if I'm brave. With a sniper rifle. It could be possible. I've done things like that before. It's a risky mission, but it's a little... It's, it's risky, but it's risking a lot less than trying to go in guns blazing and wiping out all the monolith squads between here and there. I like that idea. I could plan for that. A monolith had a site with a base value of... 345,000 rubles? Fuck's sake. Alright, this is it. Okay. That is the night, fellas. It's almost, we're almost about to hit the five hour mark, and it's almost 1 a.m. where I am. We are going to raid out and call it a night. So give me a second to head on down to the bar. I will say goodnight, and I will find us a person to raid into. Okay, welcome on back. It's the railgun site. Oh, right, for the Gauss rifle. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, give me a second. My save has been completed. I'm just gonna quick save in game again real quick. Never mind. it's already been saved. Even if I don't save it, I still have the uh, auto save. So let's see who's streaming right now.
So, a couple, a lot of bigger streamers. I want to see who's currently streaming Stalker right now. I've met some interesting new people through doing this. I met Barry Boggs. He gave me a fat raid during the um, Autumn Aurora stream. Hope to see him around here again sometime. Surprised he's not on right now, but it is what it is. In the meantime, I'm thinking our chat message is going to be... <clears throat> Um, thank you for the stream. It was fun. Glad you get to rest properly now. Have a good night. Always, always happy to see you in here, Sky. You have a good night too. Thank you so much for dropping by. Now let's see here. What's what's a good raid message? Uh, fuck. Um, how about we'll just do Psy Storm raid. Fuck it. Here's your raid message. Copy and paste that shit. Let's see who's currently streaming Stalker Anomaly, actually. We've got a couple... Oh, only Afro is streaming it? Uh... Hmm. Got a couple of other people. Um, Silent Stream... Huh. I'm not quite convinced. Who's streaming Shadow of Chernobyl right now? couple of dudes with face cams. Alright, how about Call of Cricket? Category Call of Pripyat. Nobody is currently streaming Call of Pripyat. Hmm. A lot of people. Got a guy playing a modded version of Anomaly. Interesting. Good night, Sasha. Always fun to see you. Likewise, always fun to see you as well. <laughs> Jesus. Is that a cac is that an anime cacodemon in this person's profile picture? Hold up. Let me see here. I'm just I'm just scouting out for new people. Appears to be AFK, I see. Petual MM, what are you up to? Alright, let's try this. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'll send people over to a stalker streamer. Fuck it. Alright. Okay, this use uh, this person is in subscriber or follower only chat. Uh, so let's see what else we got. Someone's playing Stalker Clear Sky. Hmm. First playthrough of Stalker Clear Sky. I like this. I like the sound of this. We're rating this person. Here we go. We're going to raid Darklink420, who's currently playing Clear Sky for the first time. Please, no spoilers. Please, be nice, and don't be fucking weird. Respect their rules and the ch that <laughs> their singular rule that they have in their about page. And remember, here is your raid message. Keep that in mind. I'm going to bring us over to the end screen, and I will play us out. Thank you all so much again for coming to tonight's stream. Um, I have interesting plans for the week. Thursday, I'm going to be playing uh, Silent Hill with a wonderful good friend of mine. I can't wait for that. Uh, he'll be co-hosting for that one. And on Sunday, like I said, I'm doing an album anniversary listening party stream just like I did last month. This one will be a little bit different. I'm hoping to have a friend on for it. I'll be posting on Twitter about it. Remember to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash too much Sasha. Uh, links in my about section. Until then, um, if y'all want more Stalker, I'll be here same time next week, same day, 8.30, or just 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time next Tuesday for more Stalker Anomaly. Y'all know where it is. Y'all know who I am. Wonderful to see everybody up in here. Great banter. I love you all. I'll see y'all soon. Good night, homies. See y'all in Darklink's chat. <laughs>